Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are on day three of four of the USA Powerlifting Collegiate Nationals. We are here at the Georgia International uh, Congress Center. Center. Convention Center, sorry about that. We're here at the Georgia International Convention Center in College Park, uh, just south of Atlanta, right next to the Hartsfield uh, Jackson uh, Airport. My name is Benjamin Quach. I'm here joined by. Please join us in a moment of silence for the national anthem. And the lifting will be underway shortly, as UV said earlier. It, we are, uh, this first session will be the 82 and a half. It will be the 82 and a half raw and equipped. You will find the uh, eight equipped lifters on platform four and the uh, equipped lifters also on platform three. There will also be a mixture of uh, raw lifters as well. Starting us off, on platform three, we have Owen Tran with 165. Platform two, Bram Lebovitz, 210. And as you might notice, you know, people at home may be wondering why 82 and a half for the men's division has their own session. And as you might know, it's one of the largest and most competitive weight classes in powerlifting in general. So this is a very big number for today. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned for that. Very exciting numbers. Platform one, we got Nathan Pan coming up, 187.5 for his opener. And uh, let's dive a little bit into how crucial, crucial uh, their openers uh, should be. Yeah, for sure. I think obviously the opener choice in this spot, especially in these heavier weight really classes, is going to be very simple. Mm -hmm. Can't really judge a lot on it, but lifting uh, is starting to get in the way. One on platform three. Springs right up from the squat. Don't worry, there's a short blackout on our end and we are back. Matthew squat on platform four does uh, got three white lights. Up next is John Ogle. On platform three, we have TJ Rodriguez with 180 keys. Two Matthews, platforms one and two. Okay. 
solid squat from TJ, three white lights. And two out of three for John on platform four. Now let's talk a little bit about uh, what gives us these white lights, you know? For sure. And that's two lights for Matthew as well. And actually both Matthews. Mm -hmm. uh, the three white lights, you know, these are they're basically confirmation of the judges. Uh, to say whether or not you're going to be able to All you need are two out of three white lights. One is for each of the judges. You have your two side judges and one side judge. And the squat, you know, really looking for the judges. So you should be able to show your shoe. Uh, well, what def, uh, we're, what we're looking for is the hip crease to go below the top of your knee. Um, and you're, what you're going to see is a bunch of different types of def on platform two of Mark Jones. Absolutely nailing what, what I mean. But unfortunately, doesn't show it from the center and the side. Now, we are at the national level, so judging is very strict here. But you just have to be at the top of your game at this point. For sure. Now, Joshua actually ran into him at DNA Strength, the, the nearby power thing gym, uh, two days back. Very, very nice game. Very valuable strength. Very smooth, two on front, you know, squat over there. A bit of a pause from Steven Randall on Platform 4, representing University of Pittsburgh. He doesn't seem very satisfied from his opener. Hopefully, he finds what's wrong with it. That is, that is definitely true. I know for uh, some of these athletes, it could be their second or maybe even third uh, meet ever. But definitely, when it's your first national level meet, it means something very special. A very speedy opener from Platform 1 by Aaron Chen. Ooh. A smooth squat from Dalton Carson representing Air Force, platform four. And we have another Michael Law here. This is big Mike Fitness. BMF. The crowd's getting all wild up now. We're heading going for a squat. The Raging Cajuns making a showing at eight in the morning. For Zachary Robin, 200 keys on his back for his open on platform four. And Gregory on platform three, opening with our first 500 squat, I believe. Oh my goodness, big Mike goodness. That was a very fast opener. I'm surprised. Hey, blink and you miss it. Blink and you miss it. That's how fast these openers should be, truly. But you can see that there's a varying styles in squats, right? The more controlled. Uh, squats uh, such as Danny Lawrence uh, from FIU on Platform 1. Mm -hmm. uh, but you'll also find, like, you know, the, the more dive bombing kind of squat, right? So uh, that'll definitely get, uh, a, a, a help the lifter right out of the hole, but uh, it can be very inconsistent for them. Especially comparing raw to equipped, you know, squatting and wraps is just squatting in sleeves. I know a lot of these things have gotten very stiff in yeah. the past few months, but it's still very different. <laughs> oh, very much so. Like, um, it it can be very stiff, but there's also a ruling for that, and there's a new ruling for uh, how thick the knee sleeves uh, should be, and uh, that's going to help uh, level the playing field a little bit so no one's uh, coming out there with too strict of a knee sleeve. Platform four, we have Callum uh, with 210 getting set under the bar. And Jackson, another favorite here in Georgia from KSU, giving out a heart to his, I was assuming his friends and family in the crowd. Jackson moving up from the 75 kilo class to 82. That is something super notable about him. I remember in the off season, he came into every training session, beef and rice. Just 
A solid squat from on platform two from Dylan Mora. And an even better squat on platform three from Braden. Let's see how the judges like it. Ooh, two out of three white lights. Good lift, good lift. Platform four, we have Joshua Barnhill, 210 for his opener. Large 220 keys. Oh, yeah. Great opener. And that's going to be a no lift for uh, Joshua on platform four. Very speed. He is, he is excited. Knowing you hit a big opener like that, mm -hmm. it's fast. Yeah. For sure. The crowd is hyped right now. Kobe Pham coming out to the platform on platform two, 225 on his bag. Speedy opener from Serenio on platform four. Oh. oh. He does walk off confidently, but unfortunately, he did not hit death there. The judges will not give it to you. You really got to sink your squats here. Exactly. And again, I think, uh, oh, we have another Georgia Tech lifter here, Austin Hutchison. Austin Hutchison walking out with 237 and a half on his back. And here's Jared on platform three with 250. Oh, my goodness, Austin. Austin being handled by one of our previous commentators. It's going to be a no lift from Jared on platform three. Uh, these first openers, a lot of them are going to be called on def, and that's something that we've seen time and time again uh, throughout the sessions and even uh, the past days. For sure. We have Nathan here kicking off our second attempts on platform one. Seven and a half kilo jump. I think an appropriate jump. You know, you see a lot of these bigger jumps as you head into heavier weight classes, especially. Mm -hmm. A oh, solid nice. opener from Platform 4 by Lance, representing Louisiana Tech. And Nathan repping that A7 single. Now, shout out A7. They've had a very big presence here in the community. Uh, and they're actually one of the largest sponsors for the USAPL. Which I think is an in person. That is true, Marietta. Here's Matthew Albazadi on platform one, 205 for his second choice. And on platform three, is that a 257 and a half? That is a opener? 257 and a half, but just you wait to the next number. I'm, I'm gonna hold it for you. Let's see how Quinn goes. And Matthew hitting 205 there. Now, I don't think he's squatting heavier than that in training. Well, that's around his training max for this block. I know he's been dealing with recovering from an injury, but that is a very, very promising sign. Very promising sign. Are we so back? I, I think we are back. <laughs> I think we are back. Here's Benjamin Edelman on platform four, representing Northeastern. Bit of a grinder of 227 and a half. See how the judges like it. Three white lights. Hakeem here in the Akatsuki knee sleeves. Now he has to retake this weight from his first attempt. Let's see if he can get on the board here. Come on, Hakeem. Oh. Looks like the strength is just not there right now. He has one more try, but he needs that try to stay in the meet. A solid opener from Michael Lewis with 265 on platform three. It gets heavier. It's, yes. he, he's going to go heavier, nice. for sure. Nick hitting a really smooth 215 opener back on platform one. And we have Joshua coming out again, taking that 10 kilo jump, taking 215 and a half. Platform three, 
Uh, we have Owen Tran uh, walking out. He's planning to retake 165 after missing uh, due to a technicality. Now, one of the rules here in powerlifting is that you cannot lower your weight selection as attempts progress. So this is what, you know, weight selection is very key. And while you might see some people taking openers that seem a lot easier than others, sometimes it's just about getting that total on the board. All right. That is a good look for Joshua. Owen on platform three absolutely sinks his squat, and now he's in the meet. Matthew on platform two. Oh, very smooth. 215 there. Definitely has five more keys, I would say. Mm -hmm. He's going to go for 485 next, maybe. That'd be big. Big meet. Also, good lift for Matthew there. Platform four, we have Holden Hodges stepping out to 245 for his opener. Aaron Chen coming all the way from the West Coast here, taking 220 as a very fast second. He's, he's one of our bigger jumps here in terms of selection. 15 keys, that's... That's roughly 30 pounds. 30 pound jumps is no joke. So if that tracks, you might have something big for a third squad here. For sure. TJ Rodriguez after nuking his squad. Very nice squad there. And you know, the interesting thing when you look at individual squatting in, in, in wraps versus sleeves is that you know the squat pattern is, is a lot different when you're in wraps you're sort of fighting that tension because it's so tight on your knees achieving depth can be more of a challenge sometimes right and that's why they have that more controlled descent right whereas uh, you'll see uh, some of our squatters in these sleeves um, they'll, they'll absolutely uh, some of them will either control it on the way down or they'll sink it like off the bat off the start we call that dive bombing. Yeah, yeah. And now Jaden did not, unfortunately, get his opener. Only took a two and a half key jump, and that is a good lift for Jaden. He's on the board. Chase taking a five kilo jump. It's a good lift for him. He's hyped about it. John Ogle representing the Vols. Seven and a half key jump for him. That's a good lift. Bram representing D1 and only UCLA taking 225 here for a second. Very good attempt selection there. Let's see what the judges say. It's a little high. And it's a good lift. It's a good lift. Two out of three is all you need. No. We have Danny getting ready. Take, also taking a 15 kilo jump. Now one of our larger jumps as well. Mm -hmm. And now Ben, what are your thoughts on you know squatting in more of a slow fashion versus a fast fashion. What do you think the benefits might be? As so with that slow fashion, you can really, uh, you know, concentrate and like really feel the tension, the tightness. Um, but the thing is, you have to have the endurance for that, right? Yeah. Whereas in a fast fashion, you're just gonna have to send it. And uh, in most cases, people have nailed it down. But uh, in others, they it's not pure luck, but it, like I said earlier, it's very inconsistent. Ooh, Michael on platform right. two, missing 227. Now, 227 and a half is his all-time PR, and so maybe it might just be technique there, but he has one more chance. Mm -hmm. got it. Looked like something nice. was off with his shoulder. Hopefully nothing too terrible is wrong with him. Jackson here taking 232 and a half keys. I believe he'll be going for 240 roundabout for his Fight third. Jackson! Come on, Jackson! Nice. That's a solid squat from him. And that was an even amazing, even more amazing squat from Gregory on platform three. He missed his first attempt, took a 10 kilo jump, and absolutely sinks it the second time around. Man, the energy that the crowd has right now this early in the morning, especially since I know some of them have been attending the last two days of competing as well. We gotta, we gotta give it up. Mm -hmm. If you're someone who's supporting your, your, your teammates, coming all the way from different parts of the country to, to watch them lift. Shout out them. They're, they're the yeah. real MVP. You, you guys are definitely say. the real MVPs, for sure. Here's Brandon with a nice squat on oh 240. Hey, if he keeps that up, 260 is definitely there. Kyle, retaking 235. Looked a little deeper this time. Let's see what the judges say. Good lift. Here's Brandon on platform four, getting set to squat 197 and a half. That's a 15 key jump again. Dylan, come on, fighting. Dylan, come on. 
gets through that 230. Nice. That's a solid squat from the Gator Dillon platform two. Up next, we have the Seminole eight ish uh, planning a squat 240. Keziah also taking 240 on platform one. Now we're really heading into some of the larger, more impressive squatting territory right now. 240, also a big milestone here. Yeah. Oh, six it. Oh, ooh. That was that was kind of fast. Beautiful That's squat from Josiah. We have an Aggie stepping out on platform three, Edgar. He's going for 245 for his second attempt. And Sebastian Krause representing Northeastern going for 212 and a half for his second on platform four. And wow, Austin. Oh, fight, Sebastian. Come on, fight. Very nice, very well executed. Edgar walking out 245. Keys are on platform three. And we have Austin. Getting ready for a 252 kilo second. I believe this is an all time PR. That is crazy. And I know he's oh. very new to powerlifting too. And we're on to thirds here on platform one. The energy is shifting. Nathan with 202 and a half keys. Come on, Nathan. Let's go. Very well done, Nathan. And that was a great squat by Edgar. Three white lights Good for lift. him on platform three. Great start for Nathan here to this day. Austin. Taking a big brace here. Oh my goodness, Austin Hutchison. <laughs> that is crazy. He is that looked like an opener <laughs> almost. I have no idea where Austin's top end squat strength is, and it's a little scary, honestly. Akeem, his back is in the corner on platform two. He needs this squat. In the past two attempts, he has failed because of strength. Let's see if he can dial in his tech and pull through. Matthew Albazadi here taking two 12 and a half keys for his third attempt. And Braden on platform three smokes 247 and a half kilos there. Very well done. Platform four, Joshua Barnhill stepping out to 215. Missed 210, but decided to take a five kilo jump. Oh my goodness. Let's go, Matthew. He's all smiles. You know, he has worked hard to recover from his injury from his earlier meets. And well, you can't ask for a better third than that. Right. Three for three for squats. You love it. Come, Come on, Hakeem. Hakeem. Hakeem need oh. it. No. Unfortunately, Hakeem is out of this meet. We call that bombing out. So that means Hakeem will not be able to uh, enter a qualifying total, nor will he be able to uh, score any points for the University of South Carolina. But as you probably will see, he will still have the ability to compete the rest of the meet. And he probably will. And I think... Still score some personal PRs in his book for the rest of the lives. And we have Nick here taking 220 for a very fast third attempt there. Here's Mark All Jones lights. walking out with 220 on platform two. And we have a 262 and a half kilo second attempt on platform three. Now, platform three, I believe some of our higher um, qualifying total lifters for this session. So you'll see some lifters here trying to go for those, you know, junior nationals and raw nationals qualifying mm -hmm. totals, which is coming up, I believe, in September. That is true. Mm -hmm. So the qualifying totals that they're looking for is 682 and a half keys for the men's raw open. But for the junior total, it's going to be 665 keys. And Joshua smokes 227 and a half kilos. Man, I did not know Joshua. Fight, Zach. Oh. Joshua had that. Let's go. Zach yeah. smoked 250, but unfortunately could not get 262 All right. up. All right, Michael. He is the self-proclaimed Batman of Georgia Tech and oh, probably Georgia all Georgia. Tech. Come on. We need to see this 501. I've seen him hit it in training. Can he execute this on the platform? Michael but needs this. With the aggression. Come on, Michael. Michael fight for it. Push it. Push it. Let's go. Michael's known to grind when he needs it. All right, he is excited. Let's go. Hopefully, he carries this momentum into bench. Here's Callum on platform four. Bit of a struggle. Pops out regardless. 10 kill jump from his first onto his second. Aaron Three also a very easy third there on platform one. We have a pretty big showing from the West Coast here from both 
UC Berkeley and UCLA. UCLA, UC Irvine. Yeah, making the commute over all the way to the other coast. And now 275 keys for a second attempt by Michael Lewis. Now that is well into, I believe, the 600 pound range here for a squat. That is true. Now Bram taking 230 here on platform two. He's pushing through. Can he finish the lift? And unable. Unfortunate to see there. Here's Benjamin Edelman getting set for 232 and a half on his back, on his second step on platform four. Exact same weight on platform one. Jaden DeRosa taking 232 and a half kilos. Let's see how he does here. He's been his second attempt was very strong. Tune into platform three, a monster squat from Michael Lewis. 275 on his second attempt. Ooh. Ooh. Will they call him for that? Oh, three white lights. He walks away with a win with that. He's two for two for squats. Will he go for 285 next? And Jackson here taking the two and a half kilo jump. Very smart call by his handler. You know looking like he wants to prioritize registering a full total. Yeah. 235 keys is still no joke. Good catch from our uh, spires and loaders on platform four uh, for Benjamin Edelman. Unfortunately, it was a miss. Matthew Perez on platform two. Finished his third attempt going through the three so far on the day. Kobe Pham on platform two absolutely needs this squat to enter the meet. If he doesn't get it, he will bomb out. Come on, Kobe. The crowd is getting extra riled up for this. Let's see it. Come on, Kobe. Yup. Yep. Oh, that is that is an excellent squad there. Way to bounce back. And you know, I think sometimes when you see lifters, especially, head into oh, it was a no lift. Oh, looks like it was most likely a depth call there. He he could try to contest that. We'll see. Was it yes? No. And Kyle here walking out for 240 on the third attempt for his squat. Here's TJ deciding to take 200 on platform three. Very well done. Nice shot, TJ. He gets to walk away three for three with squats. Oh, yeah, he's excited. Kyle here getting ready on the bar, and Arjun Singh. Platform four, Grant Cook stepping out 237 and a half. A bit Come of a grinder Arjun. from Arjun on platform two. Nice. A beautiful squat from him. And a fast squat from Grant on platform four as well. And Kyle, big brace here for 240, sinks it. Come, Come on, on. Kyle. Oh. oh, loses balance there. So good catch from our spotters and loaders there. Very good there. catch from our spotters and loaders. So another rule there that lifters have to consider, you know, having balance throughout the entire lift. You can't have any up or down motion, no shifting of the feet or, you know, losing feet position at the top or the bottom. You are allowed to rock back and forth before starting the squat, but you have to keep it one continuous motion, so. That is true. A fight from Chase on platform three. Ooh, but a no lift. Dylan taking 232 and a half kilos here. That's a two and a half key jump from the second. Fight, Dylan, come on! Ooh. You know, it's crazy to think a lot of our athletes here are already squatting well into the 500s. I mean, you might even say they're squatting more than your favorite NFL wide receiver. So True. they don't even actually play football. I mean, we have some real, real athletes here. Holden unfortunately misses his second attempt. He does have one more try at it, but he's going to need that third try to get into the meet. And Danny gets three whites there for his third attempt. Three for three on the day. And Josiah taking a big jump here. 15 keys crossing 562 pounds. Another 15 key jump on platform two with a dash. And a grinder from Luke on platform three. Well done. Showing, representing Indiana proud. A dash, lights. fighting Come for on. it. Nice, he's all smiles. All smiles, looks like the Seminoles are over the Gators right now so far. 
and Josiah taking a big brace here. This is a massive squad for an 82 and a half, and he, he made it look like it was nothing. That could have been a second attempt easily. Could have. And he looks to the crowd, showing his support. Great He's day for him so far, and we are done with Flight A on Platform 1. We are flying through squads here on Platform 3. Austin, I have never seen this before in training from Austin. 265 loaded up for a third attempt. This, now Austin has a chip on his shoulder. We have a podcast here for Powerlifters in Georgia, and somebody on the podcast called him out, saying he would not be able to hit 60 kilos, and he has been extra motivated to hit that total today. Let's see how we go. Honestly, here. you need that fire lit under you to motivate you. Austin needs this 265. Come on, Austin. Oh, my he goodness. Proves them wrong. <laughs> this Two, is, 275 was there. This is Austin's second meet. That is ever. insane. <laughs> A beautiful squat from Matthew on platform four. Great third attempt by him. And Randy opening up our second fight here on platform one with 200 keys. A bit of a grinder from Robert on platform three, representing Army. Oh, but he goes down. He does get to walk away with 245, though. And I believe our second fight on platform two is also beginning to start. 180, he's here for Connor. Again, from our California schools right there, very fast. Platform very four, fast. we have John stepping out with 200 for his final attempt on squats. See how he does. Now, fight. Ooh, unfortunately, he doesn't get it. Now, Ben, as I think uh, one thing we might see is that as we head into these mid-range, heavier weight classes, a lot of our athletes will be, instead of eating up into the weight class, or rather cutting down to sort of make weight. And now, early morning weigh-ins, I think there's both an advantage and disadvantage. Obviously, waking up is not that fun. No. But morning weight, you always will be your lightest. That is true. And it's going to be very unfamiliar for these 82 and a half for sure because they are probably used to lifting more towards the end of the day. Correct. But we have Trent here from Auburn. Oh, a grinder from Steven on platform four. And Trent, I believe, taking his time here. So you do have a full minute to start and execute that lift. Does not seem like a lot on paper, but I believe when you're in the moment, I mean, that full minute seems like an eternity. So he's that, taking his time here. That full minute definitely seems like an eternity. And some of these lifters do have a long ritual and a fast squat from Trent on platform one. Trent, also a very big squatter. I think he's looking to take some very big jumps today. Can't wait to see it. On platform two, we have Yoon Sub. He's getting ready for 205. As he is over here. here taking his third attempt of 255 on platform three. That is no easy feat. The Aggies are going to need this if they want to overtake Midland with the men's raw. Oh my goodness, what Let's a go, fight. Edgar. And Edgar regaining that center of mass there. Cameron, very nice 205 opener. He's all smiles. In the UMass SBD singlet, very nice to see there. And yes, as Ben just previously mentioned, with Texas A&M is one of our top three schools in the men's raw division so far for team scoring within striking distance, honestly, of first place. Mm -hmm. And so Ben, would you mind speaking a little bit about how team scoring actually works? So with team scoring, there are four team categories, raw and equipped, women and men. Only lifters who are registered as point scoring can score points. Only two scoring athletes per weight class. The first nine placings are each scored as 12, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2. Any lifter who registers a total out of those placings earns one team point. Only the point scores of the seven best, places, li best, best placed lifters of each team will be counted for the team points. So very important to get a podium spot. And Easton, oh my goodness, 207 and a half keys moving very fast there. Representing the University of Georgia. Go dogs. I'm Ooh, sorry. But it's a no lift for Easton. <laughs> but no lift there. And another Georgia school, I believe. Georgia State, 210 from Kier. Let's see how this opener moves.
Smooth opener from Kier on platform two. And we have Luis getting ready to come out here, representing the University of Michigan for a 210 squat. Braden opener. representing University of Cincinnati, walking out 257 and a half. Oh, in a smooth 257 and a half. Had plenty more in the tank. Let's see how bench moves. Very nice. Platform four, there. Callum, 225 for his final attempt. And it's a grinder on the way up. Gets it nonetheless. Let's see how the judges like it. That's a good lit. Here's Zach, previously missing 262 and a half. He's back for vengeance on platform three. Let's see if he gets it here. And he smokes 215 keys on platform two for his opener, representing Rutgers University. Let's see how Zach does. 262 and a half keys. Come on, Zach. Oh Fight. my goodness. Much better this time around. And the judges like it. He likes it too. He likes it too. Hands up. I guess I just did that. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cool. Here's Georgia native Jacob Hickman from Georgia Southern on platform two. Looking to open with 225. And a grinder from Josh on platform four. He likes that squat. He's walking away with a head nod. And that's a good lift. Price from here from Concordia. 210 keys. Nice opener there. Three whites. 275. A pretty big squat on platform three from Quinn. Let's see how it fares. Come Good on, Quinn. Here. Oh, oh, oh he smiles on the way up. He just knows. There's so much left on the tank. And he's he's excited. Very well done there. He's hyped for that. Serenio, a good squat from him, 225. Three white lights on platform four. Damien taking 217 and a half keys. Sinks that squat. A little bit of a grind, but still very good strength for an opener. Solid squat from Landon in platform two. A very strong squat from him, and the judges love it. Now, we haven't really seen issues with this so far, but, you know, getting a start command on the squat, you, can't, you cannot start the lift until your legs are fully locked out and the bar has essentially stopped moving. Mm -hmm. So, for some of our athletes here, they're, especially when you're going out for your opener, it might be a little hard to settle mm -hmm. in. And another thing is, the wrist wrap cannot be touching the bar. A strong spot from Michael on platform three. 282 and a half A keys. very impressive 282. That moves us onto the second flight on platform three with Derek Hayes opening us up with 222 and a half. The Raging Cajuns are getting excited for Zachary Robin on platform four, going for 225 for his final selection. Let's see how it goes. Steven here. Taking 245 on platform two. Very well done. Also a very nice squat from William on platform one. Very, very nice opener selection so far. I think in general, a lot of our athletes are taking easier openers to get on the board. A very slow control descent from Zach. He gets it up. Derek here. It's a good squat. Taking 222 and a half keys on platform three in the GBT singlet. Get better today. Controlled squat. Very well done. Here's Cameron Lee on platform two, representing Army, going for the 245 on his opener. And Nicholas Craig going for the same 245. A bit of a pause on the way up, but he gets it. Intentional. Intentional, intentional, intentional pause. Good lifts on platforms one and two. He just wanted to show him that he can pause it, you know. <laughs> Here's platform four. Benjamin Edelman, a previous miss of 232 and a half for a second. Decides to retake for his third. Let's see if it's there. Arnold Castro, I believe one of the strongest Ivy League lifters in the USAPL, representing Columbia here. Now, oh, and we have Will Representing Penn State on platform one in the Sweden. Grinder on platform four. Ben gets it. Can he lock it out? Oh. The rack man was given. Where are the lights? Oh, a no lift, unfortunately. 
Will here, very fast second attempt. 205 Roman smokes 247 and a half on platform two, representing Friends University. And now Aaron here coming back out for Texas A&M. Now, Texas A&M, like we mentioned before, third place in team rankings. They've had a very strong showing from the, their raw men's athletes these past two days. Let's see if they can add on here. Was Aaron. Very, very nice well deep done. squat from him. Let's see how the judges like it. UGA representative Easton on platform one. He's getting ready for 207 and a half. A previous miss on his first attempt. It was caught on death, unfortunately. Let's see if he can get it this time around. Very nice call here. Let's see if it works out to get him on the board. is all getting ready for 215 on platform two for a second attempt. Bigger jump here. And that's a good squat from Tyler on platform four. Another solid squat from Easton on platform one. Oh, it's another no lift. And he looks a little surprised there. And you know, as frustrating as it can be to be an athlete to get these calls, at the end of the day, the rule book is there. The yeah. rule book is definitely in there and they have to follow it. And uh, as one of my friends has, has remarked to me this past day, it's nationals. You got to step it up. And I couldn't agree more. And I think this is where the execution training and how individuals train really does show. Mm -hmm. but, the uh, standard is just so high. So high. Oh, and we a have grinder a platform, platform three. four. Grant, he gets 242 and a half up. And it's a good lift. He's hyped for after that one. A little bit of a grind from Randy there, but 215 moves on platform one for his second. And Fam smoking 237 and a half in the custom Oregon Nike singlet. That is, that's, that's drip. <laughs> that Here's platform drip. two, Kier making excellent work of 217 and a half. Two out of three white lights, good lift. Holden Hodges on platform four. He absolutely needs this 245. The pressure is on. Let's see how he does here. Cameron getting set with 215 for his second attempt on platform one. A Very great well squat. Platform three, Anthony going for 237 and a half. Oh, but a miss from Holden on platform four. That's gonna be another bomb out. Hate to see it, but and he is visibly, visibly frustrated. But you know, still have a full day of lifting ahead. Mm -hmm. It's not wasted at all. A smoke show of 217 and a half on platform two. Platform one. We have Trent from Auburn, of course, taking that big jump there, 217 and a half. Very big squatter, very big energy too. I remember back in the Southeastern Collegiate Cup. Mm -hmm. Oh, he yeah, is definitely class. one of those hyped lifters. Oh. <laughs> it makes easy work of 217. Mason smoking 247 and a half there for his opener. An easy 255 from Lance on platform four, representing Louisiana Tech. And Price getting ready for a 10 kilo jump here for 220 keys, getting his belt ready. Now. You know, a lot of our athletes here, we've seen a range of emotion. A lot of people are very calm and collected when they approach the bar. Um, others are obviously very visibly excited when they approach the bar. So walk me through what, what you think that, that means in terms of the mental for an athlete and how that depends. Right. When so are. when they're stoic like that, when they have that Keiko face, you know, they're just, they're just so dialed in. They're so locked in. All they can think about is what's to come. And... The first obstacle is the barbell that is loaded in front of them, right? Well said. And I can, I know for sure, the range in uh, music genres is so vast. Oh yeah. It, we have classical music listeners. Uh, we got some uh, some rap in there, uh, lots of EDM. So you know, anything to get the emotions and to get hyped. Here's Casey Bell on platform three. He's gonna be one of our heavy hitters. Uh, for the men's raw division as he qualified with 712 and a half keys. Ridiculous. For his qualifying total for CNATs. 
Seven, 12 and a half keys. And now I believe that is well over the QT required for the men's open division. For and he basketball. smokes 250. Honestly, let's see what his next jump is because I think it's going to be something it's crazy. It's going to be ridiculous. Now we have Luis here taking 222 and a half keys in the A7 singlet and comp shirt. Let's see how he does here. Allen makes quick work of 205 on platform four. A bit of a Very grind well from Jacob on platform two. Unfortunately, doesn't get it up. Let's now, see if he get on his third. Looks like a no lift. Now, again, as you might see, all of our spotters and loaders here fitted out in the A7 apparel. If you are looking to get some of A7's new merchandise, specifically their new deflection collection, it has launched already this past Friday. Get it now at a7.co. Or if you're here in person, I believe they're also... Stop by the stand. Mm -hmm. Colorways. He's Constantine on platform three. Oh, yeah. Very well done. Very quick squat on platform three. Now, there are going to be three lifters that qualified with the same uh, total for the 82 and a half raw division. Casey Bell. Mason Saar and Constantine that we just saw on platform three. But the heaviest hitter of them all, Carter Hoffman coming out with oh, 260 man. as he qualified with a 747 and a half squat or sorry, uh, qualifying total. Let's Carter. see if he can keep up the tempo here. Damien taking a second here. 230, big brace. Come on, Damien. Well done. Steven taking 260 for his second attempt here on platform two. I know he has a very big squat up his sleeve based on his training. And uh, Carter unracking 260 for Midland University, looking to get those 12 extra team points by winning it all and widening that gap. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, <laughs> Carter. Amazing squat from him. Let's see what the judges say here. Oh my goodness. He also is him. For he, Steven. On platform four, a great opener from Brandon, representing the Aggies. Will Jones, representing the Kama Strength, one of our larger coaching groups here in Georgia, taking 230 here for his second attempt. Let's see how this works for him. Here's Kaiman on platform three, going for 260. Same opener as Carter. Cameron here taking 260 as well. Man, 260 is ridiculous. That is approaching, you know, for those who are more familiar with uh, American units, 260 is about 573 pounds. I mean, that's like almost six plates pretty much. The, uh, essentially. Six pound plates. Yeah, right. you're about 10 pounds off. But imagine a six plate squad. Our athletes here are within striking distance of those numbers. As and Cameron Lee makes teams. easy work of it. Very easy. I mean, a 260 kilo deadlift is impressive, regard regardless of the weight class. But to, to squat that on your back is that's different. That that is definitely different, you know. Here's Jackson, insane. 260 on his back as well. Oh my! Platform three looks like 260 is a common number for our heavy hitters. Now Jackson, I believe, uh, coming in with the Lone Wolf QT now. This is a new system implemented for collegiate nationals this year. As you may or may not know, schools can only send a max of two athletes per weight class this year. And for those that have more than two, they have a higher QT they can hit um, called the Lord Wolf QT. So that's how you might see more than two from each weight sure. class. And Easton, it is all or nothing. 207 and a half keys here. Do or die, Easton. You need this squat. He has the strength. I'm almost positive. Can he execute? He needs that competition standard, that national level standard. And on uh, on platform two, we have Connor getting ready to walk out here. An easy Another squat contest. from on platform four from Lance. Oh, I'm sorry. From Carson.
Looks like it's going to be a good squat from Connor as 222 and a half was his final squat. The same load and is going for Kier on platform two. Will taking 217 and a half keys here on platform one. 250 going for Brendan on platform four. Oh, can he get it all the way to the bottom? Very well done. Let's see how the judges like it. Ooh, a no lift. Derek, again, one of our only lifters I've seen so far in the GBT singlet, that Miami Vice colorway. You know, I really like to see athletes here putting on a show in terms of their visual appearance, too. I think uh, I, I'm a strong believer in look good, feel good, play good. You know. Look good, feel good, lift good. An lift excellent good, yeah. squat from Kier. I know on day one, we saw someone come out with Pit Vipers for their final pull. Oh, yeah. That, that was cool. That takes some confidence. And you know what? If that's what it takes. And Randy here getting ready for his third of 220 keys on platform one. Aaron's coming up with 237 and a half for his second attempt. And taking a look at all our third attempts that are loaded up on platform one and two, and I'm sure on the other platforms, we are gonna cross well into the mid fives and sixes for some of these squads. Ooh, very, it's gonna be strong. a no lift on platform one and two. It's gonna be a fail. 260 for platform four, representing Midland. Ramiro. Crazy squat. And, uh, you know, I think another thing to notice based on the body weight numbers here on lifting cast, it looks like a lot of our lifters, I, don't know, I think most of them actually have made weight this session. And so, again, part of the advantage of being a morning session is that you naturally weigh in light. A lot of our lifters are fasted. But, you know, when it comes to powerlifting, especially these heavier weight classes, people do have cutting protocols. And, what are some examples of that that you might see? So there's the water cut and the gut cut. Those two are vo both very notable and very famous within the powerlifting community. You know, uh, they'll either be very either be, be very dehydrated or <laughs> have literally nothing in their system yeah. at all, and that's gotta suck. Price missing 225, unfortunately, on platform one. Also a no lift on platform three. And. Uh, <laughs> Price mentioning here back in the commentator's stand that he never misses weight. <laughs> now, missing weight, I think, can be disheartening sometimes. Your it can be very disheartening. As much as you can sort of control all your variables, you never know what can happen. Um, but honestly, that's why training near comp body weight is very important, and being on top of your nutrition is obviously very key. It's not easy, especially with a college diet, you know. Right, of course. Being a college athlete and especially with nutrition but sleep sleep is also super uh vital here For sure i'm hoping that all of our lifters today got eight hours or maybe even more you fighting for 235 he gets it up Let's see if they'll give it to him very well done three white lifts. i believe that is a three for three day for you and so far Brian taking a 10 kilo jump for 260 on platform three. And you can see on the right there on some of our streams, we have a broadcast of who's coming up next. Shout out to Boost Camp, one of our main sponsors as well for this event. Uh, for those looking to get into powerlifting and don't know where to start in terms of their programming, you can break through all your plateaus with Boost Camp, the number one free training app. You can find proven programs for elite athletes like our very own Bryce Lewis and Eric Helms or make your own training templates if you want. And I would highly advise getting this if you want to take your training to the next level. Trent taking a 17 and a half kilo jump for his third attempt. A solid second attempt from Anthony for 260. Makes great work of it, three white lights. Trent getting ready, hits the hole. 
Very nice caught, and he has his tongue out there. Excited. A grinder from Andy. Can he get it up? Let's go. Andy representing Rutgers. Now, Rutgers is also top five in the men's raw team scoring. Not to be counted out yet. We still have plenty of lifting left to go. Lots and lots of lifting throughout the day as well. Platform three, Mason going for 265, representing Liberty. And as some of you might notice, as we cross that 500 pound mark, we have to increase the number of spotters to five. Especially on platform four when we're going into the 270 range. Bobby Robinson, the Raging Cajuns are getting hyped for this 275 Damian opener. fighting for 237. Oh, he gets it. He gets the lift. Let's see if there's any up and down motion here. Oh, uh, it's a no lift. A bit of a fight from Landon representing University of Maryland on platform two. A Damian, great lift. Visibly disappointed, but you know what? That's just technical. The strength is there on the day. That's a gym PR, as one would say. For I'm, sure. I'm counting that in my book. Yeah, me too. Here's Casey Bell walking out with 267.5 on platform three. It's going to be some tight competition with on platform three with the 82.5 Raws. Rage and Cajun. Bobby Robinson here with 275 keys. Ooh, it's going to be a no lift for him. But a fast squat from Casey on platform three. Georgia native William Jones coming out for 240. A miss from Roman, but he gets a walk away with 247 and a half on platform two. Fight Will. Oh, oh. Will is unable to get it. We are we are now moving on to our final squats of the flight from platform one and two. After which we will have a short 10 minute break as we progress on to the next lift of the day, which is the bench press. This is some big benches here from our 82 and a half kilo lifters. Steven taking 270 keys. The coveted near 600 pound squat. Speaking of 270, we also have 270 on platform three with Kaiman and also Daniel with 277 and a half for his opener. Some monster squat out of the men on platform three and four. Nick here on platform one looking for redemption on 250. Let's see him hit this and secure that plus five total. Come on, Steven. Nice. Very well done. Very well executed. Nick on platform one. Oh, and no lift for Steven. He gets to walk away with 250. Let's see if the judges, judges like it. And Constantine with 270 walking out like he's the man. Here's Jaden Lowe representing BMC on platform four. He's going for 295. Constantine so far leading the pack in the 82s, I believe, up there trying to get some more team points for Rutgers. Jaden dissatisfied with the way the combo is looking. He wants the post to be out. And we are now on intermission for platform one. We'll be back in 10 minutes. A solid squat from Constantine with 270. Carter looking to chip over Kaiman and Constantine and going for 272 and a half. And Jackson, who is right after Carter, is taking the same number. That's just how close the competition is. Jaden making light work of 295 on platform four. Wow. 295 keys equipped or not. And oh my goodness. 312 and a half kilos on platform four. Uh, that's a very big number. <laughs> that That is right under the 700 range. That is crazy. Carter here, 272 and a half keys. That is 600 and 601 pounds, I believe. 602. 606. He Six, needs this. Let's see how this goes. Oh, Ooh, my. A great squat from Carter. Three whites, that's a good lift. A very good lift. Looks like the common number is 280 within the top four right now within the men's raw. 
It's going to be a no lift from Xavier on platform four, unfortunately. We're going back uh, to the top of the charts for our second attempts, starting with Jackson going for 217 and a half, representing the Aggies. Jackson from platform three, representing Palmer College, going pound for pound with our previous lifter. Matching this attempt, let's see how he does. Oh, Ooh, come on, yes. Jackson. It's close. Similar level of exertion. I think I think we have a battle on our hands. Three whites for him as well. A battle indeed. Carter deciding to take the low end with a five kilo jump while his competition is taking a 10 kilo jump up to 280. Derek walking out for his third attempt here. 235 kilos on platform three. I believe we are beginning our thirds here for this flight. Let's see how this goes. Beautiful squat from Jackson on platform four. Makes quick work of 217 and a half. Moving on to Allen, his teammate, going for 220. Second attempt. And now, looking at the, the weights that have been entered on for third attempts on platform three, we have some very, very close third attempt selections. Actually, the majority of this flight will all be taking a third squat within seven and a half keys of each other, multiple. 270 to 280 attempt squats. But where it really differentiates is if they can hang with this third attempt squat. Oh, they yeah. absolutely need this. If not, then 100%. they'll be a little bit behind going into bench and a little bit behind going to deadlift. For sure. Now, again, just like some of our lighter weight classes, we, could we do, in fact, have some very strong pullers here. So this is where some of that tactical you know, sort of playmaking comes into play in terms of choosing out weight attempts. Do you empty the tank on a third attempt squat to secure some keys, or do you save it for potentially larger deadlift at the very end of the, of the entire competition? Charles, 242, uh, 245 keys. Come on, Charles. Oh, oh. oh. good catch by our spotters there. Just ran out of gas at the end, but he gets to walk away with 232 and a half. Kobe Jenkins up next on platform four, representing BMC, going for 242 and a half for his second attempt. Arnold Castro taking the 12 and a half key jump. Second looks very fast. Let's see how he does here. This is getting very close to 551 pounds, just shy of that actually. Let's see how he does here with 545 on his back. And I believe is the Phantom SBD singlet. Unless my eyes are just very bad. But oh my, that's a fast third. He smokes his third. Oh yeah, I heard that let's go from here. <laughs> very well done. Here's Kobe going for 242 and a half. A solid squat from him. Aaron for Texas A&M, Aggie powerlifting, taking 250 for his third attempt. He walks out. Big, big squad here. That's what we mean. Some of these openers are not indicative at all of where you can end up in a comp. And I think that's very inspirational. You know, if you're not really, it's never really over till it's over. There's still a lot of ball to play. Exactly. Aaron sinks it. Come on, Aaron. Oh Fight. my goodness. Makes great work of 250. Will Here's the judges grant him a good lift? And they will. Here's another argument on platform four, going for 245. 10 kilo jump from his opener. Let's see how it goes. Damn. Come on, Brandon. Oregon. Easy Walking work of a second. Now, a lot of these sticking points are, are very different. Uh, for these third attempt squats and a lot of that has to do with you know where you place the bar on your back as a squatter as well as what your own muscle strengths might be you know some of these squatters sticking right at that midway on, point fam. the fan fights through it others having a sticking point a lot closer to the bottom or the hole of the squat mm -hmm. and some myself included if you're an upright squatter you're gonna have a sticking point very close to lockout so I think sure. that changes a lot about the mentality of the lift, right? Especially the squat where you just gotta dog it out. If if you don't have your your head in the game, it's not it's not gonna go up. So No, but squats 
are what s sets the tempo for the rest of the meet. For sure. If, you, sure. if squats go well, then you have a good mindset going to bench, and a good mindset going to bench will have you a great mindset going to deadlift. Definitely. There's Ethan making easy work of 247 and a half. Brian pushing through 272 and a half keys. Stinging his tongue out after that eventful third attempt. Now this number will be also taken by two more of our lifters, three more of our lifters on platform three. All very close right now. Outstanding. It is very close within the men's raw 82 and a halves. Here's Brandon Woods previously missing to 50 on a def call. Let's see if he can get it this time around. Anthony taking 272 and a half keys on platform three. Now every single lifter from here on out on platform three has been going very well so far with their attempt selection. Can they continue the momentum for these three for three squats? Come on, Brendan. Another miss from Brendan. He does have one more try at it. Anthony sinks it, pushes through. Oh, wonderful. What will the judges say? Three white lights. Like I said, all these lifters are going to need to keep these numbers up if they want to be contention in contention for the podium. Now, I think you'll see a lot of our lifters do this, but getting too energized early on and adrenaline dumping cannot be the best idea sometimes. Isn't that correct? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, so when you get too energized, you know, or maybe take too much of a whiff of ammonia, <laughs> you know, you start crying and like things start burning and it just throws you off when you're under the bar. Here's Casey walking out 272 and a half for his final selection. Representing Hawaii. It. Come on, oh, Casey. Ooh. Tips forward there out the hole. Loss of balance there and he knew it wasn't worth fighting through. All good on the day. An easy 262 and a half for Carson, representing the Raging Cajuns. That's a good squat. He loves it. He loves the crowd. Now, some stats on the 82 and a half kilo class. I believe the top five athletes last year, all over 500 dots, the coveted milestone for a lot of our powerlifters here. Now, for those unfamiliar, dots or the dynamic objective team rating system is a score essentially taking into account your body weight versus your total poundage that's lifted and um, it's a great way for lifters to sort of know where they are relative to others regardless of weight class and you know especially in the 82 and a half and 90 kilo weight classes for the men's raw division we have some very high dots athletes here and um, it should be no joke. These, these are not to be played with. And it's very impressive, just like Ramiro's 270 on platform four. Carter taking 277 and a half for his third attempt squat on platform three. Carter representing Midland. Can this secure him a spot in contention for that podium early in this meet? Kashami up next on platform four, going for 270 for his second attempt. We are going to commence with the benching here on platforms one and two very shortly. Big brace by Carter. Come on, Carter. Looks a little high from our angle. Let's see what the judges say. It's a good lift. Let's go. It's a good lift. Amazing work there by Carter. The same weight loaded for Jackson Jager. He's up next on platform three. And Matthew Albizadi is going to be first up opening on the bench press for platform one. And then Bram on platform two representing UCLA is going for 112 and a half for his opener. Jackson unracking 277 and a half kilos. Big brace here. Can he hang with the big dogs? Can he hang? And he does. He does. Oh, I'm, yeah. You can hear him shouting, let's go, from here in the back as well. Our first timeout of the session will be from Kashami on platform four, representing Louisiana Tech. 
no. Uh, he is one of those equipped lifters. It can take some time to get that suit or those wraps on. Or another thing that I'm speculating is he just ran out of gas after that opener, you know? Very you got to save that energy going into bench. Bram kicking things off with our bench press here on platform two, one 12 and a half keys. Very Ky soft touch, very nice press. Kamen coming in for our heaviest squat of the platform on platform three, 280. Thomas with a beautifully controlled 275, but an even faster ascent. See if they'll give it to Time him. In. Oh, and he gets it. He's smiling on the way up. That's how you know how confident he is. Oh, he definitely yeah. had some more in the tank. Constantine planning to match Kaiman in the squad. Bench so far on platform one has been going very smoothly. Both white lights, oh, good lifts rather for our first two lifters. Take the raging Cajuns are up on their feet for <laughs> Bobby Robinson on 275 on platform four. A previous miss on the first attempt, but he absolutely needs the second attempt. Oh my goodness, and I can feel the vibrations in the air from our raging Cajuns here in the crowd. The Constantine also taking 280 here to cap off our squats on platform three. The atmosphere is absolutely ecstatic here. You have to be here, ladies and gents. Constantine, one of our big dogs here in 82 and a half. This is a massive squat. Let's see if we can hit this. Ooh, a re -rack. He has eight, seven, seven six, six seconds. Yup, good. Let's Will they give it to him? Oh, let's see if he can get it. Come on. He gets it in the nick of time. Oh, my God. Come on, oh, no. oh. He does get to hold on to 270. He is within range with the rest of the competition. But it's an unfortunate to see. Unfortunate decision there. If, if he ha was not given that re -rec, possibly, just maybe, he could have gotten that 280 and matched with Kime. But unfortunately, he doesn't. And that wraps up our squat event on platform three. Thank you for attending, ladies and gentlemen. Come back in 10 minutes for the bench press.
Similar to Arjun, taking five kills over. Good lift all around. Now a lot of two out of three lights here. I think the bench press is obviously very interesting because of the angles that the judges will be able to get. But again, 
Two out of three is all you need. Right. It is the bare minimum, as uh, some of us would say, and that's all you need, like you're mentioning. Here's Kobe Jenkins walking out to 67 and a half for his final attempt. Very controlled descent. He gets it up. Let's see how the judges will give it. Oh, good save there by our, our spotters there on platform two. Looks like Kobe may have lost grip. Ooh, ooh, that that is very scary when the bar slips out of your hand. It's a great catch by uh, spotters. Great bench there by Nathan. And now you might be wondering how did the bar slip out of his hand. You know, it's very possible a lot of our lifters here are using what is called the bulldog grip on the bench press where your hand is a little more internally rotated and the bar sits more in your fingertips rather than deeper into your palm. Use, mainly used as a way to get a little bit more force production, a little better leverage. And to really there. stack your joints as well. Exactly. Big Mark Fitness. Oh yeah, 137 is very easy for him as a second. Another Raging Cajun lift there on platform four, Carson Lyons going for 275 for his final choice for squats. Joshua smoking 140 there. He is a big bencher for sure based on what I saw during my training session. Looking forward to seeing what he'll do here. Solid squat from Carson, platform four. Now, I think the bench press and the sumo deadlift really show this off, but this is where you'll see how leverages sort of affect how much weight you can push up. Because at the end of the day, no matter how hard we train, there's still some certain things that we can't control, like how long our arms are. And here you'll see a lot of lifters who are longer limbed maybe having much more range of motion in the bench press. Maybe not able to press as much as some of our shoulder arm lifters. Right. But, um, here we see a lot of our benchers are still benching well into the 300s here. Mm -hmm. As Austin Hutchison here on platform two is ready to take 140 feet for a second. He is having a day so far. Platform four, the pressure is on on Bobby Robinson for the, the Raging Cajuns. 275, he's missed for his opener. He's missed for a second attempt. He needs this third to stay in the meet. Now, does pressure truly make diamonds here? Come Bobby on, Robinson, Bobby. show it to us. Sinks it. Gets it up. I think that's good. Let's see what the judges say here. He's oh, in the yes. meet. He's in the meet. Austin getting three whites on a very easy second there on platform two and on platform one. Jackson matching that weight, taking 140 here. Now, I think Jackson and Austin evenly matched on the bench press. Would be a nice little battle to see between the 82s because Jackson, although while he was a little behind the squad, he has a mean, mean deadlift. One of the best I'm I've glad seen. you mentioned that because I've seen it in person. Yeah. It's crazy. And the progression of his deadlifts from last year to this year is crazy. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. For sure. Listen, all I'm going to say is he's going to smoke that opener. And when he smokes it, just know something crazy is going to go. Oh, for yeah. His I'm next already. few attempts. I'm already prepared. And now Hakeem, one of our first bench pressers here nearing that 400 pound territory 180 keys he is well ahead of the pack here in his flight when it comes to bench press weight man ooh, a miss pounds. from ramiro good catch from our spotters on platform four he does get to walk away to 270 though up next is thomas going for 282 and a half representing louisiana tech matthew albazadi here on platform one Starting out our third attempt on bench, 122 and a half keys. Now his bench has made some very good progress despite his injury these past few blocks. Can he show this on the platform? Oh my, what an attempt selection there by his handler. Solid attempt selection there. Six for six for Matthew, let's go. Very well done. Bench is also underway on platform three. We have some big benches coming up as well. Platform Graham. four, they're barking for Kashami. 
He's loaded up 280 for his final attempt selection here. See if he gets it. Can Bram hit 120 for his bench for his third attempt on platform two? A Let's shaky see. walkout from Kashami on platform four. Can he get it? Bram unable to get 120 here. Oh! A great squat from Kashami. Let's see how the judges will give it three white lights. Kyle unable to secure 130 keys, unfortunately, on platform one. Still only 10 kilos lost. Possible there's a deadlift there to make it for that difference. And now, again, when we talk about arm length here on the bench, you know, it does affect a lot on how you can, in terms of what, what weight you can put up on the bench press. And you know, when it comes to arm length too, another thing to consider is the, the width of your grip. You know, a lot of our locals here, just because you have a wider grip does not mean it's a stronger position for you to press for. And now the atmosphere here is getting ridiculous. I mean, it seems like the crowd's only getting louder here for platform four as you head into some of the big squats. Mm -hmm. The squats get heavier and heavier. We're nearing the 300 kilo range as Daniel wants 297 and a half for his final squat of the day. Stick around though, because 320 is our heaviest squat and that's three lifters out. A dash hitting the 142 and a half key mark. Three white lights for the big three plate bench. That that's huge. That is huge. huge. Very well done. Same weight is loaded for Arjun. Josiah taking 137 and a half. Is Edgar to start out us off with 140 on platform three? No lift on platform one. Daniel. Oh, taking 297 and a half keys. 655 pounds. He gets it Sinks down. it. Oh, oh loose balance. balance. A great catch from our spotters and loaders. Very, very strong attempt there, but just that balance, you know, it's it's not easy with that much weight on your back. Yeah, especially when you come out the hole. Mason. Now I mentioned the number of the powerlifter earlier. That wasn't the true number of the powerlifter. This, this is the number of the powerlifter. The number of the beast, 302.5 keys. Now, Gino, this is his favorite number. <laughs> 666 pounds. Let's see it. Oh, he's walking out. He Mason had, loves He's this. breathing fire. Let's see how he does here. Mason absolutely needs this squat. Come on, Mason. Come on, Mason. Let's see it. Up! Oh! Well done. A great squat from Mason. He's so hyped after that one. And so are the raging Cajuns. Now, that is a big squat because uh, when it comes to the men's equipped division for team scoring, ULL, they are right there up for that podium spot, three points under BMC to get that podium squat for men's equipped. So that may have been a critical squat there for him to get his team into the podium. A smooth bench attempt from Nathan, but it's a no lift, unfortunately, on platform one. Matthew Perez up next on platform two, 145 keys for his final bench selection. Big squat, big squat. I mean, sorry, big bench here. Big bench, but also big squat also on platform big squat. four. Xavier representing UTSA going for 315 for his last squat of the day. A grinder from Matthew gets it up nonetheless. Jaden taking the same weight on platform one, 145. Here, can he continue his perfect streak on bench so far? Austin Hutchinson. Here's Austin Hutchinson. You know, they've been counting him out, but he's here to show you. He's here to let you know. 
I talked to Austin yesterday as I handed him this very singlet yesterday, and he said, man, I don't know about bench. It's not my favorite lift, but come on. He is rolling right there in the middle of his flight, pretty much almost near the top of his flight, actually, with this event. Looks like it's going to be a timeout for Xavier. And oh, my and was just goodness, Austin. That is fast. And I believe a PR match to comp standard. Ooh, no, no lift, lift, unfortunately. Now, he only lost five kilos. Not big at all. Not, not that bad. But, you know, in order to hang, he needs that monster deadlift to kick oh, in. Yeah. Joshua here taking 147 and a half keys for his third attempt. Very good attempt call here based on a second, in my opinion. And BMC big Mike Fitness. getting hyped on platform four for Jaden's 320 to end us off on platform four for squat. Well done by Josh. Taking 147 here. And now Jackson taking 150 for his bench press attempt. He's hit this in training before. Can he do it on the national level? A nice catch from our spotters and loaders on platform four. It's going to be a miss for Jaden. And Mike hitting 145. I believe that's an all-time PR for Mike on platform two. We well are going to hit a 10-minute intermission on platform four. Stick around, or you can join us on platforms one, two, and three. Jackson unable to get that third bench there. Taking 10 kilo jumps on the bigger side. Still, he has that deadlift in his back pocket. I'm sure he's not worried at all. Not at all. Here's Mark Jones going for 152 and a half for his third attempt on platform two. And Robert, part of Army on platform three, starting opening up with 150. Oh, fight from Mark on platform two. He gets it up though. Is it a good lift? Oh, unfortunately it isn't. Nick Dosh on platform one, going for 160. That was, that was a bit too fast for a third attempt, honestly. And now Hakeem taking our, a 35 kilo jump based from the last venture in the flight. 187 and a half kilo bench press he is putting some of you some of yours all-time squat prs over his body right now was just his for some of you he's benching two of you he's or maybe two of you right yeah maybe, or maybe even three or maybe even four well he is definitely benching two of me <laughs> i can say that so <laughs> that's that's still ridiculous the big 400 plus bench can he press it come here keep oh, oh. He doesn't get it, but he does have 180. Still that's, ridiculous. That's so crazy. Still ridiculous. That's so crazy. He'll he'll probably hit like 190 in the gym. Oh yeah, 100 percent. Very well done. Cameron beginning our next flight here with 117 and a half. Landon beginning our next flight on platform two with 135. Also some very big benches going on here in uh in platform three i think jared had something written on his back of a single and a message for one of his his family members but he's getting set up there now a lot of our, our our benchers here you can see they have many different ways of setting up their arch and uh you know as as bad of a reputation arching has had in terms of the bench press it in is still a years. very important significant part of powerlifting and executing the movement safely i think Obviously, the, the, the number one benefit of arching for most people it would seem is the reduction in range of motion, but still, arching is necessary to get your shoulders and your, and your back and all of those muscles in a good leverage to actually press the weight and keep your shoulders healthy. It, it's definitely an art form, and it's something that takes years to curate. For sure. Years to curate. And now speaking of arching on that tangent, you know, the concept of leg drive, you know, we, we think of benching as a upper body movement only, but that's, I think that's further from the truth. A lot of our athletes here, you, don't, you might not be able to see it, but they are pushing as hard as they can with their legs the entire time. And that is no easy feat at that all. That is true. Here's one very buttery smooth 125 for a second attempt. Will Jones from... Georgia Southern, also a smooth opener there with 120 for his bench press. Cameron Lee going for 137 and a half for his opener representing Army, platform two. 
little bit very of very fast. Grip. Very well done, though. You'll see that closer grip. Um, more for those uh, more chest uh, bias uh, lifters, you know. For sure. Not nice. everyone is too comfortable with going max width, putting oh, their yeah. index on the on for the sure. ring. There's Price on platform one going for 122 and a half for his opener. And TJ on platform three going for 125 for his second attempt. Price here taking 122 and a half. As mentioned, he is doing very well so far in this meet. Representing Concordia. A very fast bench for TJ. He gives his handler a nod. Let's see what they choose for his final attempt. Load it up. Load it up. Now, being a handler, shout out to our handlers here, especially on the national level. It's not it's not easy at all. A lot of pressure on yourself to make sure you take off pretty much all the stress on the, the lifter. Athlete. And, uh, and you have to coordinate with other handlers around you with the combos. Yeah. There's only so many combos that uh, USAPO and TSS provide for you. Right. Now, that doesn't mean that there's a shortage of racks. No, no. There's that, just a there's lot just of athletes. That many athletes. athletes, yeah. And uh, once again, shout out to TSS, too. Very, very high quality equipment here. Some of the best in the game. Very high quality racks. You know, when you have, I don't know, hundreds of pounds just getting in contact with these racks over and over, you want to make sure you have some really strong equipment. Very strong and durable equipment. Bit of a grinder from Chase on platform three. He gets it up regardless. Easton opening with 125 here on bench. Now Easton, a little bit of a rocky start here in the meet so far with his squat, but he definitely has both a good bench and a very strong deadlift as well. So looking to make up some ground. Let's see how he does here, setting up that arch. Here's Yoon setting up for his 145 opener on platform two. And Zach going for 130 for his second attempt on platform three. Platform three. Let's see how the second attempt goes. There's that bulldog grip that we were mentioning earlier. Very well done. Very well executed. Say two and a half. Two keys. and a half. Two and a half keys. No, no, Five? no. I I'd go high end, like top end. Send it for sure. Send, send it. Send it. Send it. Uh, I, I'm I'm also very like egotistical. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got it, bro. I got it. Bro. Trust me. Trust me. I got it. Dude, 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 dude give it to me. <laughs> give it to me. <laughs> Damien taking 127 and a half keys here for his opener on the bench press. And yeah, the bench is just that lift. I mean, strength curves are, are so different lifter to lifter. I mean, some individuals, they can take even jumps and stick it through and the speed will fall off slowly. Others, you know, you take one attempt, fast as the big of an eye, five kilos over, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. What happened there? <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> Not that that's going to happen, but right. uh, it's just interesting to see. Now Trent taking 127 and a half. Man, Trent rocking the Nike Blazers here. Um, footwear and powerlifting, you know, very important. Super important. Um, a lot of people for the bench, they like to favor the Hyper Vs. Hyper Vs. And uh, the Hyper Vs, you know, very interesting how they sort of got into the powerlifting scene. One of those shoes in very, very nice grip pattern, mainly made for, you know, workers us overseas who are trying to stay safe from slipping mm -hmm. so uh hyper v's are a good choice there notorious lifts for example a lot, a lot of, of people slippers. love their uh notorious lift slippers uh, not only for the bench and the deadlift as well um they just find it convenient that yeah, they can wear it sure. wear it all around for all the lifts um a new one to the game a vankus and also one hun shout out the new barefoot shoe wave uh and also a little bit more rare, but heels. I think a lot of some athletes like to wear heels as well on the bench press. There are a couple of those, and that's more of a rare breed now. Uh, I know in the past uh, it's been uh, very prominent uh, for others. And now for those who aren't aware, uh, the heeled shoes, ones that typically will have a little bit of elevation in the back, the main advantage is that you can get your ankles a little bit more bent. So very, very helpful for the squat. Also potentially for the bench if you really want to get your legs underneath you. Here's Edgar retaking 140. Can he get it this time around? Here, Georgia local 
Let's see. Going that. for 155 for his opener. Tier has a very big bench press for an Indy 2. Edgar, will he get this bench? Yes, he will. And for those tuning in on platform four, uh, our bench press will be coming up in three minutes. Now, we have our regional championships being implemented here all on the same weekend and about all in June across the United States here. Now, regionals have much more of a significance now moving forward, especially for our athletes who are trying to get one last meet in on their way to qualifying for Raw Nationals. Mm -hmm. So the main benefit here with regionals is that if you are competing at regionals and you secure, I believe, a podium spot or first place, there will be a slight handicap towards your qualifying total. They take 50 kilos yeah. off the qualifying total for you. 50 kilos is a lot. But rest assured, you know, regional level meets are no joke. You're going to have people from all over competing here. And so also very big meets to look out for coming up in June. Beautiful bench from Greg on platform three. Three white lights moving on to Robert. Went for 155, a five kilo jump on his second attempt selection. Will Jones, another Georgia local, coming from Georgia Southern, 125 on platform one. And here's Roman coming out for 160 for his opener on platform two. Platform two, we are moving on to our next flight, I believe. Correct, platform two is on their next flight. And um, yeah, some very big branches here. I mean, Roman is concluding the opener is here, 160, 352 pounds. It's no joke. And a new rule that they've implemented this year on the bench press in the USAPL is you are now allowed to bring your head off the bench. So I think a, a, a little bit of a rule of convenience for lifters that do naturally bring their, their neck up off the bench. It's no longer something you can get penalized for, mm -hmm. especially you know, if that's your natural pre pressing pattern. Right. And um, here, Will getting three whites. Now the bench press, out of all three lifts, out of our SPD squat bench to deadlift, probably has the highest training frequency. I think a lot of our lifters here, especially if you're lighter, probably benching at least, what, three to five times a week, potentially. So, you know, programming is very interesting. We could jump into that rabbit hole very easily, but. Yeah, um, a very deep, very deep, deep rabbit hole. But we'll keep it on the meet so far. For sure. But if you are looking to start of get a new introduction into, into programming, then you can transform your lifting journey with Boost Camp, the last training app you will ever need. You can access free training programs from Red Legends like Bryce Lewis, Eric Helms, and Alberto Nunez. Or if you really want to, you can make your own multi-week custom training cycles to use in the app. So if you want to get in and sort of score that 400 pound bench press eventually, your next level awaits. Here on platform one, we have Price coming out. 130 for his second attempt. Don't be fooled, the time did not run out. He does have 30 seconds until he gets his second attempt. Luke, for Indiana, they're getting three reds on his second attempt bench press, unfortunately. Connor making easy work of 145, representing UC Irvine on platform two. Making some very good progress here. A lot of our bench presses are now heading well into the high 300s ranges for our benchers on platforms one and two. And those who are just now tuning in from platform four, welcome back to the 2024 USA Powerlifting Collegiate Nationals. We are on day three of four. To right now for this first session, it will be the 82 and a half men's category is gonna be mixed between the raw and equipped lifters. Jared here from Michigan taking 165 kilos for a second attempt. I need to catch what is written on his back of his singlet. I, I missed it again. I'm gonna find that message. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll make a note for it yeah, when he yeah, comes yeah. back out. Oh, a little bit of a grind there for Jared. Oh, Can he push through? Come on, Jared. Now, he gets it up. I believe that was a good lift. Yes, it was, and it says hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Hi, Jack. Andy here for Rutgers, taking 147 and a half keys for the bench press. That's going to be a good lift from Nick on platform one. Easton taking that five kilo jump 
for 130 for a second attempt. Now, another thing about the bench press, a lot of our lifters here will be asking for an assisted liftoff from our spotters and loaders here. Now, there, a lot of that could come down to your personal preference. Um, I think what we've seen is the heavier that you become, you might require more assistance, especially just to keep your shoulders in place. But obviously, that does come with downsides in terms of variables that you have to account for. So Right, of course. The liftoff can be very inconsistent as well. That's why each time you go out, you have to give very specific instructor or instructions to whoever is lifting you off. And that's, you know, it's a huge responsibility on our spotters. Easton smoking 130 for his second attempt there. Looks like he has a lot in the tank for a third. He's going top end for sure. Top end for sure, yep. Platform four, bench is underway. Dalton smoking 107 and a half. Matthew looking to take the same opener. And again, for those who might be wondering exactly what that white powder is on the back of some of our athletes, and I think smeared all over the, the bench pads at this point, that is chalk, and now chalk you'll see a lot of, I think a lot of our athletes have chalked their backs for the squat as well, but main purpose is just to increase that friction between yourself and the equipment. And um, why might that be important? Why would you want to chalk yourself up in these lifts? Well, you're going to want to chalk yourself up because, as we mentioned earlier, the leg drive. The leg drive can be so powerful yeah. that your back could slip off the bench. Now, the bench is already grippy in itself but that chalk is just that extra layer of confidence just so you know your back isn't going to slip now for some yeah. of our other lifters you're going to see chalk on their butts as well uh wow, that, that is also going to be another layer you know just could, so you could know. work could it, not it could work. work there's you know, it's a double-edged sword it, i think it, it really works is. but if you there isn't chalk on the butt bench after you finish lifting the judges might look at that and consider it a no lift meaning your butt has not made contact so or maybe you do want to have chalk on your butt for that reason. Again, right to to like, you know mark your place there. Or maybe you just want to have chalk on your butt, which is personal. That's okay. That's, that's okay. Personal that's preference, okay. yeah. Um, but again, again, as Ben mentioned, especially with the TSS combo racks, their bars and their their bench pads very very sharp and full of friction there. So very oh, high quality. Uh, I know they're sharp for sure because oh, I, yeah. had a, I had a friend yesterday. He was handling, and when he gave a liftoff uh, to his athlete, it cut his hand. That's how <laughs> sharp these are. The, they are literally cheese graters. Cheese graters right there. And then, uh, that's what you need. You want to make sure athletes can get as much friction as possible so that's not up to, you know, up in the air in terms of variables. And now, a grinder from Chase. Let's on go, Chase. Three. Chase benching in what I believe is a bench shirt. Now, if you're an equipped, already mentioned similar to the squat changes the movement pattern but especially if you're benching in a bench shirt man that descent on the bench press is like it's a separate battle of its own you are rowing against the bench shirt to build as much tension as possible and um it's no joke i mean i have not worn a bench shirt before i've tried on a slingshot that was already too much for me so training and equipment i i've yeah. tried a bench shirt oh my god <laughs> oh my god Listen, off the chest, amazing. But lockout, it is all up to you. It's pure strength at that point. And that's it's insane. Tough. Yeah, you considering, especially our equipped athletes are benching, you know, relative to the, the, the unequipped average. They could be locking out 400 plus. And that's, as you said, all their, their sheer strength and tricep strength. So, Kier, very happy there with a 160-pound bench. Will taking that low end approach for 127 and a half for his final attempt. Holden, there is that very slow and controlled descent there with the bench shirt. Very nice one. But very explosive off his chest. Here's Quinn going for 140 on platform three for his final attempt at bench. And the crowd is electric. Um, this, the volume these past few days has been very, very, very loud. Uh, I, you love to hear it, honestly. Oh, yeah. it, oh, it's yeah. the school spirit and also the family and friends cheering Roman on for that 162 oh. and a half for his second attempt. I don't know if there's much left in the tank there, 
But if there is, then he could go for 165. Could go for it. Now, one thing to note, what we might see later on today or even during the bench press themselves, athletes can, or rather handlers, can choose to scratch third attempts if, if necessary. Mm -hmm. And on that note, sometimes you might even see athletes run down the clock, you know, out of a sign of respect and, show, and sort of courtesy for other athletes just to give them that extra time to sort of rest and recover. But, uh, yeah, I mean... Especially on some of these seconds where it looks like it's closer to a third in terms of exertion, then it may not be worth loading up that third attempt or taking it at all. Uh, don't want to overexert yourself right. in the deadlift. It, it goes a little bit into uh, strategy. You know, you, you save some gas and uh, save some room for that uh, deadlift just so you could maybe, you know, pull for the win or out pull whoever you're competing against. Randy, a no lift for him, unfortunately. He does walk away with his opener. Here's platform one, Price going for a reattempt of 130 as well. Platform two, Connor representing UC Irvine going for 150 for his final choice of bench. Grant Cook, Crook making easy work of 122 and a half on platform four. And here's Edgar, uh, part of the Aggies, going for 152 and a half for his final choice of bench on platform three. Price retaking 130 here on platform one. And now as we are wrapping up with the bench press on platforms one and two, the subtotal picture is starting to fall into place. Now, subtotals, you know, they are indicative of potential rankings, but again, the deadlift, you know, it's, <laughs> <laughs> I've it can seen change a lot. so much. And Connor, fun fact about Connor, out every single ounce of bench there. Connor also looking at his body weight, weighing at exactly 82 and a half kilos, right on the money. Doesn't get more stressful than that. No, for sure. I know he was either running laps outside his hotel room or he was sitting in the sauna. No, for long not hours. the sauna. <laughs> the things we do to cut weight. I mean, I think in my personal experience, obviously water cutting is, is not the easiest. Drinking so much water is not comfortable. Gut cutting, another strategy if you choose to sort of shift to a liquid-based diet. You know, the first few days of eating ice cream, it's fun until you're on your fourth pint and you're thinking to yourself, I do not want to touch this ever again <laughs> in my life. <laughs> At least that's what I do. And, and, then, and then, you know, Ben and Jerry's all of a sudden taste disgusting, disgusting to you. Yeah. Or maybe Bluebell, but... And taking a look at the lifting cast here, we have a little bit of a trend on Platform 1. Um, a lot of, a huge streak of, of missed third attempts here on bench press. Let's see if our lifters here from now on can sort of change that tide and secure a third. Come on, Damien. Damien. Break that red pushing. curse. Can he Come push on. through? Oh, well fought, well fought. Unfortunately, unable. The red carpet curse continues. Easton up next, 135 for his final selection. Now, Easton, I think, I'm optimistic. I think he can break the curse. Me too, me too. That 130 looked amazing. Here's Platform two. Andy Zhang, I was gonna say, 152 and a half for his final selection, representing Rutgers. Now platform three, we have 160 of Gregory. Ooh, almost Unable. there. Good catch from our spotters there. He does get to walk away with 152 and a half. Here's platform four, Joshua, looking to open with 130. Easton here, getting ready to secure, hopefully, the successful third bench and change the tide and the pattern of these third attempts so far. A great third attempt from Andy on platform two, three white lights. Moving on, platform three, 160. Brennan gets set to bench. Easton continuing the red carpet on platform one. No. And I believe uh, on platform one, Price's third attempt may have been overturned. Wow. Because I see a green light on that 130 for his third bench. So a little bit of hope there. But uh, we need to see some more green lights here, or green successful lifts, hopefully. And looking out at the end of our flight here for bench on platform one, we have some big benches coming up, including a 162 and a half kilo bench press at the very end of the flight. Platform two as well. 
very big punches. Fight, Nick, fight. A great bench from him. Does he get it? He yes. Does. And he is excited. Man, fighting for a, a, a rep like that on the bench press is just different in terms of mental. I mean, all upper body, you're thinking about pushing, firing all cylinders in every single part of your body, you know, squeezing your pinkies, pushing through with your joints, pushing your legs as hard as you can to get that chest up. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. It's not easy. Yeah, and you have to maintain that tension within your body. Not easy at all. It is vibrating in the venue currently. Trent Mace is going for 140 for his final attempt, as as well as Yoon from Miami on 162 and a half. He's grinding. Come on, Yoon. Push, come on, push. Trent. Push. Ooh. Push. Trent, come on. Push let's it. see it. Oh, my goodness. Did Trent just secure a third attempt? They're very, very well fought. He's hyped. Three whites and he is hype. Auburn. I heard that. Let's go. I, I heard, heard that, that too, go. yeah. Trent, once again, amazing stage presence from him. Uh, he competed at the collegiate clash here in Georgia. And yeah, he really put Auburn on the map there. And great energy, great day for him so far overall. Kellen with a speedy bench of 140 on platform four. Will, can Will continue his great streak of lifting so far with a 157 and a half kilo bench press in the Sweden single. Very rare, sure. first, first IPF single I've seen so far today. <laughs> and we have just heard that apparently one of our athletes after completing his bench was yelling feed me another testament to what our athletes we have gone through to sort of get to wake here and now speaking of which how about nutrition on the day of the meet what, what do you think are some important things that athletes have to consider um they have to get a simple and easy fast carb you know, something like sugar, maybe even candy. I'm seeing fruit snacks back there, you know, nothing too heavy. Or maybe there are some people who may have, you know, uh, did their gut cut or are very, uh, very big fast into the meat where they had to have that large meal in order to feel satiated going into the lifts. Luis here. Oh, looks like slightly downward motion here. Will the A judges... grind from Roman on platform two, representing friends. Unique. Can he get it? Can he get it? Keep on pushing. No. <laughs> the refs called it early. It's a no lift. Now we are done with benching on platform one. And... Uh, they are getting ready to remove all the equipment. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back for deadlifts in about 10 minutes. My favorite lift of the day. Me too. Can't wait. Here's platform two getting set for 165. Faisal, his third attempt. Let's see if he gets it. Platform three moving on to the next flight with Anthony Correa to Start us off with 132 and a half. And Faisal unable to get that. Two reds there from the side judges. Now Kier, 165, smooth five kilo jump so far on the day. And he's been having a blast, I believe. This will be for his continuation of a perfect meet so far. Bench has been a very consistent lift for him. Let's see if he can keep it going. Here's Dalton Carson on platform four, going for 112 and a half for his second attempt. Now, Kier, I believe he has competed. This may be his fourth or fifth meet so far, and still a collegiate athlete. And I think that meet experience is really valuable coming into a national level meet. Up, isn't it? Kier, up, oh, up, is he up. able to press through? Oh, unable. Only five keys so far. That's a lot on the day. He has a deadlift. I saw him hit a very big deadlift. He does have a Troop very Warsong large deadlift. Last week, so still there's a pull on him. And uh, not that big of a deal. Another overall. Georgia native walking out, 172 and a half for his final attempt. It's It's been five reds so far in terms of the last few attempts on bench on platform two. Can Jacob break the streak with a 172 and a half kilo bench press? Come on, Jacob. We need you here. Let's see it. This is well above 375 pounds. To slow off oh the start, but can he burn it goodness. out? Oh, my goodness. No. 
Unfortunate in the streak continues. Mid-range sticking point. Probably most likely triceps there. But still, so much on the day. We can't really see it from this angle, but again, that that forwards backwards balance also as you press. Very tricky to get a hang of. Yeah, that J pattern, most notably. Here's platform four. Matthew coming out for 115 for his second attempt. He's getting set. As well as Mason from Liberty on platform three for with 150 for his opener. The subtotal picture is all set here on platform two. And one of our lifters to look out for here on platform two will be Steven, currently projected to be fourth overall. I mean, obviously, these projections are based on the deadlift attempts so far, so still a lot of lifting to go. Not only that, though, platform three's heavy hitters have yet to go. We, have, we are still in the beginning of flight B on platform three. Stick around as Fam is about to open up with 152 and a half for his opening. Speaking of projected totals, I see 660 for Austin's projected total there. So it looks like he's about to blow uh, the haters out of the water, out of the water there. And again, we have Fam, all white lights there. Man, that custom Nike singlet. Am I hearing Nike is entering the singlet game? This, uh, this I happening? think that's for the wrestling team. But, you know, it, it works here. It works it here. It works here. It works here. Yeah, and when it comes to singlets and that, you know, that fashion and, I guess, drip side of powerlifting, we've seen some in previous years, a lot of the, the Olympics singlets as well. Makes me wonder, I wonder how people are getting these singlets. I mean, people are probably keeping them from family members or friends even. That's true, or you can buy them online. You know what else you can buy? A7's new deflection collection that came out yesterday. You can get it now at a7.co. A7, now, I think their singlet range is really good. They have probably the most diversity in terms of colorway. I mean, purple. Green. Pink. pink. Pink was a popular one, day one. Pink, yeah. Gray. They're Gray. all white. They're, they're stealth collection. They're stealth collection. I'm a personal fan. The stealth collection. I, I might buy one today. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. They're, they're, I'm going to succumb and buy some of their shorts. I've, they're 360 <laughs> shorts. I've seen two people wear them, and I have to buy them now. Mm -hmm. I, just, yeah. I just have to. Here's Holden Hodges up next, 125 for his bench attempt on second attempt on platform four and 155 is easy as an opener for Cayman there on platform three and now KC opening at 160 these are ridiculous bench openers now squatting this way in general as someone who's an intermediate in the gym is still really impressive and these 82 and a half lifters are benching it simply pressing stage. it off their chest as an opener Here's Holden Hodges, slow descent, pops right off his chest. Very fast second attempt. He walks away with a good lift. Now, Kaiman was projected, or currently is forecasted to be first out of the men's raw. Um, 82 lifters here. Have some very high subtotals here as we wrap up. Our, our bench openers, but still a lot of benching to go. Don't know how the rest of the rankings will fall into place. Lots of benching to go, especially with Constantine missing that 280, but he does have a really good bench press of 162 and a half. It is very close right now within that 82 and a half uh, competition. And yeah, with the bench press, again, obviously we do have individuals who might specialize in that lift but still smaller jumps means there's more competition less less space for you to get ahead mm -hmm. but jackson smokes his opener there and constantine just as benjamin as ben mentioned following up right away constantine and jackson going head to head so far in the day as well as carter who's in the mix love to see this rivalry between lifters and again, if you're a handler, especially when that deadlift comes around, this is where some of that strategy, that game day strategy can come in. You know, do you want to sort of put in attempts
based on what your opponents have planned. I know uh, a lot of powerlifters in our age group, they do post their training online, but you know, some of their lifters here, as we have discovered, <laughs> very strategic in keeping their training reserved mm -hmm. and unavailable to the public for days like these. Right, and as a handler, you know, you have to be very quick on your toes and you have to always be thinking on your feet because anything can happen. Not only is there a plan A, there's a plan B, and then not only there's a plan B, there's a plan C. Oh yeah, there's everything is planned for on the day. So much that goes on when it comes to variables and powerlifting. You know, it can be as basic as you know your lower back is sore just from sleeping the wrong way to something happened in your life and now you're just suddenly ready to run through a wall. And, right. uh, that's all it really takes. Mm -hmm. Charles here representing Virginia, 165. Very wide grip there, very easy. Steven Randall with a very smooth bench of 130 on platform four. He's happy about that one. Carter Hoffman up next, representing representing Midland for 170. Midland starting to cheer. Same with the Rage and Cajuns on platform four at 135 for Zachary Robin. Carter getting in the zone here, telling his spotter how to give him a lift off for this bench opener. 170, 375, we'll probably see him sort of get into that 400s range potentially for his third attempt bench press. And I can hear, I believe, what is a trombone or French horn or some some brass instrument for the Raging Cajuns here. <laughs> Who brought that in? <laughs> Chat. They brought they brought they, they brought the entire <laughs> orchestra in. <laughs> no, I love to see it honestly. Like getting riled up, it's just like you're watching a football game. <laughs> There's the horn again. <laughs> a great lifts on platforms three and four from Midland and the Raging. Cajuns, Derek Hayes up next, representing Utah State. About to bench 175, the heaviest bench of the platform for an opener. In that GBT Vice singlet, I believe now very rare, not not sold anymore. So I don't think he's 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 letting that go anytime soon. But again, taking a very wide grip here. Now, when it comes to grip width on the bench press, you must have, I believe, your index finger at the widest in contact uh, with the ring on the, uh, on the actual power bar itself. So this is where having that, you know, high degree of internal rotation and that bulldog grip can help you sort of squeeze out a little bit more sort of width there on the bench press. But, you know, bulldog grip is not easy. No, it isn't. It is another art form attested to the bench, right? You, you have to know where the bar sits. It's in that J, you know, where you, you have to really cup it and you have to press down on your fingers and make sure it doesn't go anywhere. It, it's, it's hard. It is hard. And I think as we have our athletes on platform three and four taking their seconds right now, ooh, Anthony pressing that 142. You know, just, just because there are methods to sort of reduce range of motion in, in these three lifts does not mean they're the best way for you as a lifter. I know there are many long-armed lifters who adopt a closer grip on the bench press just because that is what they're the, the strongest at when they perform the movement. And so a lot of that, you know, we don't really see the work behind the scenes, but a lot of our athletes here are spending hours inside the gym just fine-tuning technique, doing Seeing the boring stuff. right for them. Yeah. Not, you know, in powerlifting, it's, it's not all PRs every day. It's not Anything, sunshines it's and rainbows. 5% of your training is maybe that big, big PR. The rest is doing the, doing the small work, letter weight. And oh, 147. Oh, Brian ah. for Brian. But he doesn't get his second attempt. Very well fought. Let's see if he sticks with that for his third or scratches it. Serenio with a bit of a slower second attempt. He does get it up though. It is a great lift. He's excited about that. Aaron up next on platform three, looking to take 147 and a half. That's another one of those big jumps that we were talking about earlier. That's a 12 and a half kilo jump. And Callum here for UT Austin taking 150 now Callum I believe 
completing this bench raw. And we are beginning our deadlifts here very shortly on platform one. Actually beginning it right now. You see Matthew Albazadi switching out to his signature stoic singlet. The navy blue stoic. It looks really good on him, that color. And Matthew, oh my goodness. That must be giving him some confidence. You know, knowing Snappy what he's lockout. gone through, mm -hmm. for, through his injury and recovery, that's still very strong. Now, y'all are lucky. If Matthew wasn't injured and training went the right way, he would be pulling. I'm giving him at least low sixes, mid sixes even. Cause he, mid sixes. I'd give him he, mid sixes. He had a very big progress on his pull heading into his meet earlier this year. So still, still remarkable to see. Fam of a great bench of 160. Same load, uh, same is loaded for Mason representing Liberty on platform three. Here's Lance looking to retake his opener of 152 and a half on platform four. Dylan getting ready to walk out here very shortly for his opener of 240 keys. That's 530 pounds. Very, very big openers here for our 82 and a half kilo lifters. And I think the deadlift, as some of you might have seen in our earlier days, this just weight class almost it's not as linear of a relationship because the deadlift is just that lift where it's all about leverage. And you're about to see some crazy, crazy body weight ratio pulls in terms of what these 82s will bring. Aaron, 501, conventional, very well done. Very easy for him. Kaiman stepping out to 160 for his second attempt on platform three. He needs to keep this tempo up in order to compete with the rest of the 82 and a halves. Kaiman has had a very good day so far. Looking like five kilo jumps on the day for the bench. Getting that shoulder position and those arms locked out. Very long range of motion. Very good second for Kaiman there. And that's a good lift from Dalton on platform four. Up next we have Tyler with his back against the wall, 120 kilos was supposed to be his opener. Missed his opener, missed his second attempt. He's on his third. He, he needs to this, this to stay in the meet. And the crowd is roaring in these do or die situations. And Adesh smoking 247 and a half kilos conventional. Love to see it. Tyler Josh again, 242 and a half as well on platform one. More of a sumo stance. Let's see how he does. Oh my goodness. Here's Tyler coming out. Now the deadlift, a little bit easier in terms of commands and execution. You really just have to get that weight up, hold it at the top, wait for the down command. However, there are still some rules you have to consider mainly with hitching and ramping. Uh, so with hitching and ramping, you cannot, oh, Tyler. <sighs> Fortunately, Fortunately, he's out of the meat. But as I was saying, with hitching and ramping, you cannot use your thigh to support the bar and uh, try to pull the bar up uh, sh straight from your thigh. And another one is downward motion. You cannot show any downward motion, especially at the top. In previous uh, days and sessions, when you deadlift that fast for your opener, just like on platform two with Matthew. A little too fast. A perhaps. little too fast. It, it just whips you back forward. You're not expecting it to move that fast because the taper was that good. So you really, you really got to control it here. And now we have platform one having heading well into the high 500s right now. And uh, we'll see this shortly, but taking a look at the equipped rankings for men's equipped, we see that BMC Blue Mountain, while they are third here in the rankings, a little bit behind Midland and Texas A&M, they still have several athletes, eight athletes I believe that have not competed. Plenty of lifting left to go, especially with the clips. You see a lot of these in heavier weight classes. And so 
again, the way the, 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 the team scoring works, there's a heavy emphasis on that podium spot. All it could take are a couple of podium places, and you're going to see a big swing in ranking. Still plenty of ball left to play. Jackson here opening with 260. Man, I remember when Jackson first hit it as a PR, and that was back in, like, what, maybe? It was August. August, September, not that long ago. This is an opener way for Jackson now. And Austin walking out. Georgia Tech's own to 255 on platform two. A great bench from Constantine. That granted him a good lift. Up next is Charles looking to take 175, five kilos over. Austin taking his time with his setup, building that tension with his legs. Very smooth, 255. Very well done there for Austin. I wonder what he will have A on grinder the from Sebastian on platform four. He gets it up, though. And a good lift from him. Charles, ooh, second attempt was stapled to his chest. 175 just was not there for him. Austin hitting that 660 total mark. And Mike... Also hitting 255. Now, Mike, one thing to know about him, his deadlift taper hits. The heaviest deadlift he has taken in prep for his last prep was 25 pounds under what he pulled for his third. And he matched that in this prep. And Mike has not told us what is happening, but he may pull well above 600 today. Hey, I, I can't wait for it. Listen, as a fellow 82 myself, when, when I see these guys, you know, starting to pull heavier and heavier, all I can think about is the greater the chase. I need to get up there. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's great seeing some of these athletes put up numbers, especially when we can relate to them. And it looks like on platform one, a little bit of a complication there. Maybe with equipment or Yeah, the it looks like the shoe or the sock. Not to take away from Platform 3's amazing benches right now. People pushing into the 180. I believe Carter just getting that 180 kilo bench. He did get that 180 kilo bench. He's up to 457 and a half keys for his subtotal. In first place, I believe, oh, my, my bad. Second place contemporary, Kaiman currently holds first place with 440. Three reds there for... Um, for Nathan on platform one. Looks like it may have been. Or it looks like they're letting him reattempt the weight here. So again, yeah, with this deadlift event, um, the socks are important. They must be covering, I believe, as much as possible. It should, uh, so it has to be right below the knee, but it right. has to cover the shins, most importantly. Exactly. Matthew coming out for 255 here. Nope, that is not Matthew, unfortunately. I believe it's still Nathan Pan. He has yet to go. My apologies. Matthew on platform two. We have another Matthew. Very easy for Matthew there. Is he able to get a down command? He is. So again, full control of the weight at the top. The judges will make you hold that weight, making sure you have that grip on the bar. And now when it comes to the deadlift, a lot of different variation of technique and form. You see your closer conventional stance here, a wider sumo stance, mixed versus hook grip. Well, what are the advantages to that overall? So the advantage is really, it differs from person to person really. Um, you'll see uh, not only to sumo, but there's also the froggy stance. And what I know for sure is that with the conventional, you're going to be using more of that vertical force, whereas the sumo, you're going to be using a combined of vertical and horizontal, right? You can see, let's watch Matthew's uh, form real quick, right, on platform sure. one. Watch how his knees are set up. His knees are going to be pushing out. Very well done for Matthew there. In a very snappy deadlift. And it also comes down to the wedge as well. Now, we're talking about the way you grip the bar now with hook and mix. Look at Kobe's hooked grip. Little tough lockout, but he gets through. He does pull through. But as you can see with the hook grip, 
He's, it's going to look like a double overhand, but don't mistake it. His thumb is tucked underneath the bar, and his, the rest of his four fingers are wrapping around his thumb. All that pressure is going to be placed right on his thumb. And now as we're wrapping up bench on platform three and four, some very big benches here. On platform three, we are well underway into our thirds for this flight. Several benches under the 160 plus territory from now on. And uh, the gap starting to widen between some of these lifters as uh, everything falls into place here in the subtotal. A grind from Jaws, but he doesn't get it unfortunately on platform four. Slow at the lockout from Graham on, with 262.5 on platform two. Josiah walking out confidently to 235 on platform one. And the desk here taking 267 and a half kilos. I believe 590 pounds about in the prong belt and the purple and white of Ancuses. The crowd is loud right now, especially heading into deadlifts, one of the most hype events of the day. And a dash, very long arms, still very well executed. Second deadlift there. Kaiman is looking to bench 165 for his third attempt. Here he is, setting up on platform three. And Zach. On platform four, to the 145 here. Again, representing ULL, this is big. Very big. Time in. Time in with a smooth 165. A great bench from him. Oh, he's, he's jumping with joy. Let's go. Great bench from Aaron and a good bench from Mark. Good pulls all around here, and we have Michael Jabara here, Mr. Big Mike Fitness. With a 15 and a half kilo The jump. Bruce Wayne of Georgia Tech, of Atlanta, of Georgia, you know what, that's, that's Whoa. what it is. <laughs> We're making some bold statements right now. Joshua with the quick 255 here on his second attempt. He's got plenty in the tank, he loved that pull. And here we go. Big Mike Fitness, 272 and a half. On, little stuck in his knees. Can, on, he, can he get his hips through? He's known to grind, and he gets it through. Very well done. Uh, I oh. hope he's all right. He may be. <laughs> From two, Mike, he. He's, he's walking away. He's wondering, will they give it to him? Maybe worried about that down command. I wonder what is going on back there. But back here, to monster, platform three. The monster benches on platform three. 167 and a half. Great benches. We have a green carpet so far. Let's see if they keep that streak. Platform four, Lance Weissman. He needs this 152 and a half to stay in the meet. This has been a common theme with Louisiana Tech so far, I'd say. Can Lance get it? Oh. Let's see here. He's gotten a couple tips from his handler. Let's see if he gets it here. 167 here for Jackson, pushing through. What a grind. Very nice third attempt here. What a grind indeed. Austin. And Austin. Oh, deadlift. oh my goodness. Lance needs this bench and it moves. It moves wonderfully. Will they give it? Yes. Yes. It's a good lift. Welcome back to the meet, Lance. And now back to Austin. Austin told me yesterday, again, people were saying they don't know if he can hit 606 on the platform. Hey. Based on that? Well, he hit 6'11". What do you... Yeah, yeah. Like... <laughs> yeah. Here's Jackson with 5'95 on the bar, 270. Jackson. 
looking to make easy work of this for a second attempt, and he does. A little bit of a sticky lockout, but he holds on to it. Solid bench from Jackson. Or, or not bench, sorry, deadlift. Deadlift, yeah. Hard to see. We have four screens to look at right now. But uh, we have Charles here on platform three, retaking 175. Very big bench. And Danny here, ready to take 277.5 as well for a second attempt, setting up Charles the Charles grinding out 175 for his bench attempt. He gets it up. Very, very close in the running. Man, these, these 82s on platform three are making it very close. It's gonna come down to deadlifts here. And uh, will be a very entertaining watch to see these, battle, these three battle it out at the top. Danny taking his time here with the setup. Very nice wedge. Needs it. Very well done. Very long arms, locking out at his knees almost. Very, very good deadlift there. We are on to thirds. The best, most exciting part of the day, in my opinion. Uh, Mike Rivera will not be pulling his third deadlift, so he is done with his meet. Great showing so far at Kobe Nationals in the 82 class. Kobe, strong wedge. Come on, Kobe, finish it. Oh, oh and down. the spotters are there to catch him just in case. Carter Hoffman, 185 requested on the bar. Nathan taking 287.5. Easy sumo deadlift there. Nathan looking to make up some ground on, uh, on platform one. Here's Brandon Giddens setting up on platform four with 140 for his opener. What will Nathan pull for his third? And looking like his total will get up there with the rest of the others. Here's Carter getting ready to bench 185 kilos. He needs this bench to stay in first. Here's Arjun getting set to deadlift 267 and a half. And it doesn't get it up to right. A great showing from him so far. Carter here taking 185. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, man. I didn't know you were like that. <laughs> I know. I didn't know it was like that. My, my bad. My, my bad. My fault, bro. My fault, bro. <laughs> uh, Matthew here getting ready to cap off a full day of lifting. Can he lock it out? Yes. Wonderful. Nice done. job from the KSU Gives barbell. He has not. Very well earned, Matthew. Great day of lifting. Congratulations for finishing your first collegiate nationals. Here's Matthew on platform two. Matthew Perez, can he lock it out? What a pull. Does hold on to it. And the judges give it. Maybe three whites. Let's see. A strong bench from Derek on platform three. Also, a very fast bench from Derek. Oh, Derrick. my goodness. Oh, he's on top. He knows. Hits the double he biceps. He on <laughs> top. And that wraps up bench. Josiah on here, 242. It's going to be a 10-minute intermission on platform three as we transition into deadlifts. And Do as stick around. Deadlifts wrap up on platform two.
Classic SPD. Ah, did not know that. Thank you for the lore. Mm -hmm. Solid deadlift from him, though. Very well done. Now Easton here taking 245 as an opener. Easton looking to recover some weight here. Still very big pull on him. Looks Should like deadlifts are under the weight on platform three. Owen Tran opened up with 210. It was a great lift. Here's TJ for Light work for Easton. 220. And like we were saying earlier, Easton has a monster deadlift, doesn't he? He does. Uh, based on his training, I believe Easton is good for at least 265, maybe 270. We'll see on the day. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. TJ with a great deadlift on 220. And here taking 257 and a half keys here for his second attempt. Opting for these 10 kilo jumps. The raging Cajuns are getting up on their feet for Ethan as he gets set to bench 160 for his second attempt. Trent walking out for this 217 and a half kilo conventional pull, getting energized. Great deadlift from Kier. He's well happy done. about that. Same for Trent. Very easy 217 and a half. Oh, oh, oh big setup here on, on platform three. Chase. Oh, lock oh it out. God, nice. Very well done. Bit of a grinder for an opener. And now Chase wearing a deadlift suit there to execute that deadlift equipped. However, sometimes you'll see a lot of our equipped lifters will actually deadlift raw and not use a deadlift suit. Um, it you know, always comes down to preference. And uh, getting in that deadlift suit is no easy task. No easy task. Most of the time, it is a two-person job to get into any suit, that is. Yeah. So when you see these equip lifters walk out, or maybe there are 30 seconds and they finally walk out, it's because they have to put the suit oh, back yeah. on. And I, they, they are most likely not very comfortable as they're approaching the bar. Here's Jackson getting set to bench 162 and a half on platform four. And, uh, you know, as we see a lot of these Midland athletes come out here and compete, um, you know, we've actually done an interview here with the coach and head coach of Midland Powerlifting. And you can look out for that on Instagram if you're interested to learn more about uh, Midland's powerlifting background. So be sure to follow the USAPL Instagram account. Lots of big material there for you to look into. And as well, another shout out goes to Barbell Productions for what they've been doing to really run this show. If you are an athlete who has already competed or will be competing later this weekend, please take a look at their media packages. They have some very high quality production here. And again, of course, thank you for them for letting us commentate and uh, be part of this live stream. With Connor, Connor, very, very, very long arms there, locking out basically on his knees. 280. 280. Here's Brendan up next, Northeastern on platform four. He's, oh, I believe, my bad, Kobe looking. There seems to be a little bit of confusion on Br platform four. Four, but we're going with it. Yeah, Here's Kobe there Jenkins, 165, looking to bench his second attempt. And there's Steven on platform two, 305. Okay, that is ridiculous. That, that is, is crazy. 672. But you said that he's pulled plus 300s with ease before. Yeah, uh, he is forecasted to have one of the highest totals for this class, uh, well into the 700 kilos. Oh my goodness, Ooh. Steven. Ooh. Ooh. Looking like an opener, and he uh, he can he knows he knows what will what will Coach Man load up for that third attempt? Who knows? Who, Who knows? knows? Ramiro up next, setting to bench 167 and a half for his second attempt. And you know, I think another thing to notice is that because of how competitive 82 and a half is as a weight class, you know, it's hard to see a lot of these records being broken, and when they are, it's it's usually not by much at all, but 
Looks like the screen has not refreshed on platform two, but we should be having our thirds underway here. Solid pool, platform one. It's a good lift. Platform one is almost done with their second attempts here. And I see, I see a number. A number? I see a big number. I see a big number for Steven on platform three for his third. 320 kilograms. The infamous 700? Yeah. 700? All right, Steven. Show us what you're made of. I cannot wait. I can't wait either. And platform three is also go well underway with their openers. Very easy for Robert there. Platform four, Xavier set to come out. 177 and a half for his second attempt. Will taking 252 and a half for a very good second there. And Roman looks like he makes up ground there. For that second attempt. He moves to eighth place after that pull. Xavier, 177 and a half in the bench shirt for UTSA. Now, UTSA as well, one of those big schools. In the men's uh, equipped. Well, looking at equipped, they, well, UTSA has been doing very well in raw so far. However, in equipped, they're still shy of that podium spot. Let's see if they can make up some ground here. Michael Lewis with a great opener. Moving on to Jared on platform three. Looking to go for 265 for his opening. Here's Thomas on platform four, looking to go 187 and a half. Price taking 260 here, big 15 kilo jump for a second. Come on, Price. Ooh, Ooh little too much on the day. Yeah, that 245 was a Bit much. Bit of a him. grind, yeah. We'll see what his coach says. Ooh. Flying deadlift from Jared in the platform three. Here's Easton. 260. Can he get this? And platform two will most likely be our first to wrap up for the day of this session. We are heading into our final few deadlifts, all well into the high 500s, 600s, and as you will see shortly. 700. Easton, 260 here for a second. Very well done. Good call for a second. Great call for a second. Very Jacob grinding close. for 260, though, on platform two. Oh, Ooh. and he loses his hook. Just loses the grip. Edgar taking, oh, my goodness, 287 and a half kilos. That is crazy. Let's see how this moves. Edgar looking like one of our taller 82 and a half lifters. Still up there competing and holding his ground. Finds the grip. Oh. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I mean, I did not know he was like that. <laughs> Mason taking 187 and a half again for ULL. ULL with a big showing here. Faisal with three white lights after his 260. Very well done. And now Trent getting the entire Auburn contingent behind him, getting ready for this big 230 pull. He's going to need this pull. Let's see it, Trent. Come on, Trent. Yup. Very well selected for a third attempt there. Points up. And that's a good lift. That is a great lift. Here's Cameron Lee on platform two. Looking to take 262 and a half. He gets it. Smiles at the top. And the Raging Cajuns making themselves known in front of the camera. As platform you can see. Four. Tune in to Bobby Robinson. Looking the bench. 190 for his second attempt. Just shy of 420 key, uh, play a pound. 420 pounds, rather. Damien taking 235. Very well done for his third. Very good day for him so far. And Kier dapping up the spotters. 
getting them into it, 265. This is for around 584 pounds. That's a six plate deadlift. That is a six plate deadlift. If he gets this, he moves to 16th place. Come on, lock it out here. Lock it out. Very well done. Very cool. I think that's a good lift. Let's see what the judges say. Oh, oh no lifts. Maybe some hitching motion there. And he walks over to Bank or the judges, I believe. Yeah, they, they might try to contest that for sure. Let's see what happens. Randy with a good lift of 240. Platform four TJ. leads in the text. Kashami looking to uh, bench 190 for his second attempt. TJ with the Dragon Ball Z inspired setup. Can he hit this deadlift? And he does. He does. 230 was right on the money. Let's see if he can squeeze out 232 and a half. Another two and a half keys would be good. And Andy smoking 275. Walking off with some swagger there. Great third attempt from him. Good selection there from Andy. Great day for Andy overall, I believe. Nine for nine, Andy securing the 82 and a half junior qualifying total. Nice job, Andy. And a great job from uh, Luis. Three white lights from his 253rd attempt. And now we have Connor getting ready to walk up here, or I believe Julio. Apologies there for confusion. Taking 280 here. Julio, part of the Seminole. If he makes this full, he gets a 10th place. A grinder from Lou, from Nick on platform one. Does he get it? Brayden gets 250 oh, there. He does not, unfortunately. Julio, will this be a good lift? Yes. yes. Cracking into that top 10. Collecting some points for his team. And top 10 at a national level is no joke. Jaden Lowe with an excellent bench of 192 and a half. And now, platform two. We're into our last two deadlifts here. Connor taking 295 keys. Strong wedge. Huge. What a pull. And he, man, that was, that was ridiculously that fast. Was way too fast for a third. What? Oh, I can yes. hear the scream from here. Yes. Here's Will, Will. grinding. Can he lock Get it out? It. Oh, oh, so close. Nice try from him. Great determination of grit there. And now our heaviest deadlift. Oh. Platform two. Tune into platform two. Everyone that's watching, please watch platform two. Steven is going to pull 320 kilos. That is 705 pounds. If he pulls this, he will stay in contemporary first. And now we're going to see how. Come on, Steven. Steven. Come on. Taking his time. Oh, oh my oh, good. Oh, 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 oh no. no. Oh, looks like so the, the bar was very slightly in front of him. He thanks the crowd. A great showing nonetheless. And here is an overview of the ranking so far for the raw men's category. Midland securing that first place lead as of now. Still plenty of lifting to go. Lots Take of lifting to go. UTSA second place at 33 points. Texas A&M with 30 points. And again, it's Texas A&M. Maybe a large lead between the top three right now. Texas A&M has still plenty of lifters left to go. UTSA also has several lifters left to lift. So these rankings can change very easily this weekend. Stick around for uh, awards on platform three, or you can watch platforms one, three, and four right now as Easton is about to pull 270 kilos for his last pull of the day. The same way is loaded on platform three for Brennan for a second. Easton, I believe this is a all-time PR. Let's see this. Come on, Easton. Great pull from Brendan. Come on. Three. Very strong off oh, the floor. One. Oh, and he can't lock it out after those knees. Great fight so far. 
from Easton. Good job overall. Still, I believe his first seed ads. Can't be mad. Can't be mad from quite the debut to the national stage. Here's platform one's Will Gugler representing Penn State. He's hyped. He's stalking the bar. 272 and a half. That's a 20 kilo jump from his second attempt. Big jump. Several missed thirds here. Can he break this streak and secure this huge third deadlift? Come on, Will. Come on, Will. Breaks the floor. Oh, oh and his knees. he is okay, I believe. Taking a second there. Thank you to the spotters for un unwrapping his belt. Michael here taking 275 for a second. On platform one, lifting has wrapped up. If you would like to stay for the awards, do tune in to platform three. The awards uh, will be shown on platform three once lifting has concluded. Michael taking 275 here. This looks like a conventional. conventional. <laughs> Thought it was gonna be froggy. <laughs> Me too, but a Never mind. 275. And Ethan here, another ULL lifter. ULL is really making a push in this weight class to get into those equipped rankings. And he is about to take this 167 and a half bench press, third attempt in the bench shirt. Can he push through? Can he push, push, There's that push. sticking point. He needs to lock it out. He couldn't, fortunately. He gets to walk away with 160 though. Here's Jared on platform three, looking to pull 277 and a half. That 265 was way too fast. Oh yeah, this is definitely in the bag for him. Taking his time to hinge into the bar. Let's see how he does here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay, lock it out. Yup. Gets it. Very well done. Turns around. Good. Hi, hi Jack. Hi Jack. Hi Jack. And then we have Quinn coming out for 280 here for a second, very close right now in terms of where all these weight selections are. Jackson ready to take 167 and a half as well. Very big arch. Very, very large arch from Jackson. Come on. And now I believe Jackson is, is that, is he, is he lifting raw? I think he is. Uh, no, so he is a part of the equipped category, okay. but it is optional for you to wear the bench shirt when you are in the equipped category. Correct. Uh, for a lot of lifters, sometimes that shirt is a bit too uncomfortable and does not allow them to lift. But that still just goes to show that shirt or not, they still have the strength to bench that much. For sure. There is the... <laughs> trombone or French horn. I got to go out there and confirm exactly what instrument uh, this is. We need to get one of those back here. I, yeah, yeah, bring it over here. But Edgar, 302 and a half keys. On Ramiro, platform three. taking 172 and a half on platform four. The number of the beast. Ooh. Oh, it looks like he may have lost grip. It's all right. He does have one more try at it. It's a no lift from Ramiro on platform four. That wraps up his bench. And we are on to third attempts here on platform three. Brendan Witz looking to bench 172 and a half for his final bench of the day. Oan Tran looking to bench 222 and a half on platform three. That 220 was a bit of a struggle, so he's taking just the chip. Let's see if he gets it here. Quite the bench from Brendan. Is he able Can to he close get his it right out. arm? He does. Is it a good lift? The question begs, and it is. Oh, on trend. Come on. Oh, so close. And a great catch from our spotter. And Chase. Chase getting ready for 232 and a half. Let, let's, he, he's very consistent uh, with his set, uh, ritual yeah. and his setup. I like it. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Some people may think that these prolonged setups for the sumo deadlift in particular 
seem a little unnecessary, but I think it brings a little bit of showmanship uh, and energy into the lift, especially at this stage. Let's see how Chase does here. If successful, he will stay in first place. Men's equipped 82s. Come on, Chase. Let's see this. Yup, yup, there it is. There it is. Come on, Chase. Big race. Big wedge. Can he Finish get it, it past Finish his it. knees? Finish it. Come on. And he's pushing through. Push oh, through. oh, Come oh, on. oh, oh. Pull, pull. That's, yes. he pulls through. Now, will that be a good oh, lift? Oh, no lift. He does walk away satisfied. Probably some up and down motion or hitching potentially there. Thomas, oh, big bench. Finish. Oh, a great catch from the spotters. Good catch there by our spotters. You know, especially with these equipped benches, you could come down a lot faster and more suddenly than you might anticipate. So good reflexes there. Here's TJ Rodriguez here to represent California State San Marcos. 247 and a half for his final pull. Can he get it? Up, up, up. Oh. Unable to get that. A bit last. much for the day, but he does get to walk away with 230. Great lift from the kid. Zachary taking 270 for his third on platform three. Now, let us see. We are all we are about halfway a into our third tier. A on. great bench from Daniel on platform four. Walks away 192 and a half. Jaden Lowe up next, loading up 195. The race between Daniel and Jaden are very, very close. Somewhat close. Within 15 kilos. Or I believe, sorry, 25 kilos within each other. Now, when it comes down to the deadlifts, we'll just have to see. See what's in store here. Very nice off the ground. Very smooth at lockout. 270. Is that a good lift? Yes. Yes. And I can hear him from here. Very well done. Here's Jaden looking to bench 430 pounds for his final bench. Oh, with ease. He benches 195 kilos with ease. 195 is no joke there. Greg, Maxi Jr. with 272 and the scream at the top. That was just too easy. What is what is up with these sandbag third attempts, man? I'm trying to see some some big <laughs> pulls here. Actually, no, I'm not trying to sabotage anybody's health, but it's unfair. All yeah. right, you can't be moving personal records in that way. That's what I'm saying. That 272 and a half. Mason, looking to bench 197 and a half on platform four. Big pull here for Brayden. This will move it into a top 10 spot. Oh, oh looks like that's not going to go. It's not. A not little bit of downward it. motion there. Mason fighting the shirt. Fast off his chest. He needs that right arm to lock out. It's a great lit. The raging Cajuns are ecstatic about that. Here's Robert looking to take a step back at 275 on platform three. Kashami here, another Louisiana athlete, this time from Louisiana Tech. A grinding from Robert on platform three. Oh, Just doesn't unable. get it. 197 and a half kilos. This is it's getting kind of ridiculous now. It's getting very ridiculous. And we're going to cross into our high 200s, into the 300s here for this next few thirds for this flight on platform three. That is true. 
Stick around for that. But first, Kashami's bench of 197 in the half. Very, very slow descent. Explodes off the chest. Can he finish it? And he does. Here's Luke looking to pull 275 for his third. Here's 200 kilos. The Ragin' Cajuns are up on their feet, cheering on their teammate, Bobby Robinson. And you know, shout out to them for bringing on the energy because it is not easy to keep up the energy for this what's early been a in the morning. Three too. hour session, pretty much. They've been here probably since about seven, well before lifting has started. So let's see it, Bobby. 200 keys on this bench press. And Brennan taking 280 for his third. If he makes this lift, he moves to seven. Pull, pull. Very pull well done him. there. Very well done. Oh, and he's ecstatic. I would be too. And now we have. Push, our, Bobby. Oh. He had so much more left in the tank. Too easy. Gets Stand up. Points to the crowd. Oh, yeah. He knows. Jared getting ready for 285 as well. That's going to wrap up bench on platform four. Do stick around for deadlifts, which will be happening after a short 10 minute intermission. Here's Jared looking to pull 285. Oh, just couldn't break the floor. And Michael with our first 295 pull for our third attempts here on platform three. 295. 650.75. Seven? Uh, I can't read that. 650 point something pounds. He is now closer to a 700 pull than he is to a 600 pull, if my math is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you go to tech? Is it? Is that where <laughs> all the mapping should Man, be? Man, I don't. I don't even know. <laughs> all right, all the numbers. You know, two hundred pounds, five hundred pounds, a <laughs> thousand pounds. It's, it's 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 all the same. But this is for real, Michael. His second attempt was very fast. That is true. And this is to secure silver for him. Let's see. He needs this two ninety five. Come on. All the way from Wisconsin. Let's see it. Up. Oh okay. My. Well. Surely he had 305. Surely he had 305. Oh, yeah. Ecstatic, loud congratulations there for securing that second place spot. 295 on the bar. Now this pull for Quinn is to get into the podium. A lot at stake here. Let's see how he does. Quinn needs this pull. Come on. Doesn't want to rush. Here it is. A great pull from Quinn. 295 was just enough for him. He's very Quinn happy about that. Jumping all over. And now Edgar taking 305 here. Took a two and a half key jump. Now his second attempt, I don't think it was a miss on strength. It looked like Maybe he just set up his hook incorrectly or yeah, a miss groove, miss maybe groove. an actual miss groove, as we like to yeah. <laughs> overuse in powerlifting. Not not an RP6 miss groove, you know. Yeah, but let's see. I think he has it. It looks like he's hit this number or in this range in training before. And now this will put him into third place. He um, absolutely needs this. Obviously, still have a lot of lifting to go with our next flight, but let's see how he does here. Come on, Edgar. He needs the pull. Oh. Just was a bit much for the day. And that wraps up flight eight. We do have another flight 
So do stick around for that. We're going to have Arnold Castro to open us up with 245 keys. And several of our lifters hitting the qualifying total for the men's open category at Raw Nationals. So congratulations if that was your goal. And um, the prep begins for Salt Lake City. Arnold opening at 245 here. Beginning our flight. Man, the crowd is ecstatic. I can hear them from way back. Arnold taking a very fast 245. Something tells me his opener is, is it might be low, but way below. Way below what we're about to see. There is some some top end strength that is definitely being masked here. And um Let's see here. Anthony setting up for 247 and a half. Come on, Anthony. Anthony's going to need a very fast pull, a very great pull, representing Amherst. Constantine looking to open with 255. Now, Constantine is in contemporary 211, or I'm um, in contemporary 11th place. But he's expected to total something very, very big today. Come on, Constantine. Let's see you, Constantine. In the A7, socks, very well done. Solid deadlift from him. And Constantine hitting a belt flick on a on a, on a, prong, on a prong belt. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe maybe, a, maybe maybe it's like a recent switch and like yeah, it's just not used to yeah. it. Yeah. Now. now, why would some athletes choose to go for the prong belt specifically on the deadlift? Um, it's to really get that belt really tight. That's something the lever belt um can't really do because. The sizes, you could be in between uh, prong holes, whereas the, uh, I'm sorry, uh, with the lever belt, but with the prong holes, you can get that precise measurement mm -hmm. and super tight on your abdominal area. Great opener there for Derek. And yeah, as Ben mentioned, bracing when it comes to the deadlift and, you know, just like the squat and the bench, bracing is a little different, I would say. Um, I think the principles are still the same, but some lifters, or I think, Speaking for myself, I think a lot of the lifters here will opt for a little bit of a looser fit on their belt uh, than what they might have on the squat, just so they can get their entire lower body tensed up for the deadlift. And um, you know, part of that also involves a very high belt position. You know, especially now, a lot of athletes are looking at some of the top level lifters and trying out that new style. Here, Brian smoking 260 for an opener. Very fast singlet. 260 from Brian. Up next, we have Casey, another contender for the podium, looking to pull 260 for his opener. Man, Casey in that custom Hawaii singlet. Love the way it looks. That That is ultimate drip. And also, let's talk about where he's coming from. Hawaii. That's yeah. far. A Hawaii great is, is far. Hawaii is no... No drive away. I mean, you literally no can't. flight. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's that's a long, very long flight. Um, good to see him here competing. And Mason, two sixty here as well in one of the more unique SBD singlet colorways. I believe this is one of their. I don't know what this is called, the colorway exactly, but that sort it's of the, it's the olive one. Olive one. Yep. Is it called olive? I don't know, but a great <laughs> deadlift for Mason of two sixty. <laughs> Uh, 260 is a very common number uh, is it now? for these 82s. It's yeah. not common to me yet, bro. I can't lift 260. Uh, <laughs> common, know, common for them. Common yeah, for common, them. Common for them. Yeah. You know. This is our third attempt. But <laughs> <laughs> on a good day. Yeah, on a good day. <laughs> <laughs> if the taper was really that good. And now, let's talk about preparation. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Uh, that, that, 
Yo, it, keep that in the warm room. That was that was, that was a little that was a little too fast. <laughs> that was definitely the last warm up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Great job by Aaron. You could have you could have told me that was the bar. And I would have you could have told me those were fake weights, and I would have I would have believed. I would have believed you as well. <laughs> that moved too fast. Charles, two sixty-seven and a half. Now we talk about tapering and peaking, and these terms. I mean, what do you I mean? What do you think that actually means for those who don't, you know, keep up with powerlifting as much? Uh, well, with peaking, you know. Peaking is that time period where you go for the heaviest lifts. It's a week where you go for the heaviest squat single, heaviest bench single, heaviest deadlift single. It's to really set the tempo and like have uh, show you a uh, foreshadow. That's the right word. Yeah. Foreshadow yeah. Uh, how your meat could go if you're having the best of the best day, right? And then going to that taper, it's it's gonna help you uh, prepare your body and your uh, mentality into the meat, right? You're going to be super fatigued after those signals, aren't you? Here are those horns. Oh my god, that's that's midland. I thought I thought I'm hearing like a train or something. That is <laughs> I thought a train was passing through a building. Exceptionally loud. But it's just midland. It's, just, it's Carter just midland. <laughs> for this 272 and a half. Now Carter is looking to total well into the mid 700s and you know He's, he's looking to secure a placement oh. there. Did he just pause that? He, he did do a pause at RP6. But it was a good lift. They, good they lift. Giving it to Maybe him. not the best idea to do that if that was intentional at the national stage. But, but you know what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's to instill fear to the rest of the competition. Facts. That he can pause 272 and a half. Who else can do that? Exactly. Maybe Probably Jackson. Probably a lot of them out there. But, but yeah. <laughs> He did it. Here's Jackson. Jackson Yeager stepping out to 272 and a half as well. Jackson, Carter, and Cayman all within each other, about 10 keys. We're going to see lots of attempt changes coming up soon. Oh, yeah. So uh, attempt changes again when it comes to the deadlift. Very unique with the rules there. Right. So you have two attempt changes. You're allowed two attempt changes. Now, a lot of them you'll see on the third attempt. We'll let you know when the uh, what the what those attempt changes are. But for now, sit back, enjoy the ride. Look, you saw how fast these openers are. That's just to go show you how fast the seconds are going to be. Oh yeah. Fam here, taking 280, 595 for his opener here. Second heaviest, very Ooh. easy. Very easy 280 for him. Now, Oregon, I believe their mascot, I want to say the Ducks. The Ducks. Go Ducks. Yep, they I are the Ducks. The Ducks. Um, came in here, heaviest deadlift opener of this platform in this flight. Hey, if he's pulling last. If he's pulling last. And he and he has that Fortino style froggy stance deadlift. And it works. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, well. Okay, well, you know, just to give like frame of reference, right? Fam, pull 280, super easy, 300, 20 kilo jump. What we can expect from Cayman. 305. 305, yeah. Who knows? We can see some, some changes here in that deadlift attempt selection as well. But very good so far for this platform. All green lights and all good lifts for the openers. We're back at the top of uh, the flight, starting with our second attempt with Arnold Casho looking to pull 260, representing Columbia University. Finds the slack, gets the wedge, an amazing 260 from him. Constantine going for 267 and a half here. Representing Rutgers University once again. Let's see how he does. Constantine is gonna need this if he wants to score points 
for Rutgers. He's getting set. Taking his time here. Let's see. Getting his arms long. Big part about the deadlift is pulling that slack out of your entire body. Building that tension. Very much so. Very well done. And I, I guess the belt flick works. Uh, hey, yeah. You know what? The belt flick does work on a prong. Um, I don't know what part works, but. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe it's just for show. I don't know. Uh, but, hey, you know what? Like, hey. Yeah, we'll, we'll give it to him. Hey, game is yeah, game. It works. Like, <laughs> it works. Anthony taking 272 and a half. That, that's a pretty crazy. Oh, 15 keys. That's pretty good. That's pretty crazy. 15. I mean, 25. <laughs> <laughs> 25. Yeah, that's correct. Huh? If the math math thing, that's 25 keys. That's what we were talking about. These openers. Crazy. They really are for deadlift, just like a very close to last warm up type deal, and then you sort of really prime your body for a bigger jump. I'm sorry, folks. It's been a it's very. Been a minute. I have not done mental math. <laughs> well, it's been a very short night for me, as a, you know. <clears throat> but you know, came back. We showed up. Exactly. Trying to trying to put put on the best quality stream for y'all. Again, shout out to Barbell Productions for what they've done in setting this all up. It looks like platform. Four has started their deadlifts. Bryce, can you show platform uh, four? Deadlift start. And here, Derek. 275 is going up very smoothly. Sorry about that, folks. Platform four has started their deadlifts. It's been green. Green li white lights, sorry about that. White lights across the board so far. Everyone has made their openers. Brian taking 280 here, walking it down. Sorry about that, about platform four. Small hookup, hiccup on our end. We did not mean to not show platform four here. But first, Tyler looking to pull 215. Nice opener from him. Charles taking 282 and a half kilos there. Oh. And we appreciate all of you for tuning in to the live stream if you are to be watching some of your favorite athletes. They may not recognize it in the moment, but they definitely do appreciate it when they look back at these meet recaps. and include these videos let's go Charles nice Charles a little bit of balance lost at the top but oh that's yep. a no, no lift. lift just as you were saying there's a little bit of downward motion at the top there now uh, with these red lights that the judges provide there are some additional connotations of depending on what the exact error is i believe you have your yellow and your blue cards as well so there you see blue cards blue cards are usually given for more of a miss on a smaller technical detail like that up and down motion for example whereas a yellow might be given for straight you know fail on strength or inability to complete the lift so a little bit more context for those especially if you're following on lift and cast get some more description into that Here's Jackson Yeager looking to pull 282 and a half. A 10 kilo jump from his opener. Very nice. Very easy for, for Jackson, it looks like. And uh, Jackson, you know, continuing this streak of perfect days so far. Very nice to see how like all these top 82s on this platform still maintaining very high success with their attempt selection. Carter jumping up and down. Carter getting ready for this 285. He needs this. Like you were saying, the podium, the top five is just so close within the competition. Every kilo counts. And Callum here smoking his opener 220 as platform four 
Platform four, one of our larger up, flights. Up, Carter, up. Very well done. And oh, may have, may have lost swayed. bounce at the top. Yes. Yep, to no lift. So while from our angle, it did look like he was able to get it upright, you know, it's very possible those judges are looking for the OK for the down command. And obviously, there is communication between the side and center judge visually to make sure that's there. Got to lock it all the way out. Mason. Sorenio with a good lift on his open round platform four. Mason, 17 and a half kilo jump, 287 and a half keys. The music is turning up in the venue. It is getting a lot more intense. As we wrap up deadlifts, the great attempt from him. Great second there, perfect. Oh, looks like Ooh, a no, no lift. lift. As we see more and more misses, the door opens for those who were in podium contention, now they're looking to get in. And those who were in first, they're looking to take that top spot and seal it from Carter. Aaron, <laughs> 30 kilo jump for a second. He is him. And I guess, I guess that, that last warm up was actually the last warm up. A 32 and a half kilo jump. For Casey, this is ridiculous. That is crazy. You know, this just goes to show. Oh, Sebastian losing his grip there on that opener. He reds. Come on, Casey. Look at that slack pull. Very well executed. Picture so perfect. Easy. If he needs to pull 320, I'm sure it is most definitely there. Bam, being our first 300 kilo puller in this flight on platform three. Let's go, fam. Come on, fam. The big 661. 300 keys is, is such a landmark um, number for a powerlifter. Matthew smokes 225 on platform four. Come on, fam. Oh, my goodness. Such a nice wedge and pull there. Very, very beautiful pull. Grant Crook up next on platform four. We're going to take 235, representing Sam Houston State University. Came in here taking 305. 305, that is. But Six, I'm starting to see the numbers. Oh, here. yeah, yep. Yeah, we're seeing this is where. This is where it gets exciting. But first, exciting, yeah. it comes down to Cayman's pull. Can Cayman hit this second and show everybody he is here to stay? Come on, Cayman. Up. Up. Oh, oh, my goodness. Okay. okay, okay, okay. I was unfamiliar. I was unfamiliar with the game, Cayman. <laughs> Whoa. 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 All right, Cayman? we're, we're going to give it some time because we know – we know some numbers might want to change. But Cayman showing how he is a dog at every single lift. He has been up there at the end of the flight for every single lift so far. That is what we call a total specialist and also a very good power lifter. A very good power lifter <laughs> and a very good deadlift specialist, actually. Yeah. A deadlift specialist that can hang, most importantly. Yeah. Arnold here. 275, very well done. Great pull from Arnold. And that, I think, is nine for nine on the day for Arnold. Congratulations. 692 keys. Well done. And most of our competitors in this flight all above that men's open QT. So pretty sure they may have secured the QTs already before. Uh, Here's Constantine getting set to pull 277 and a half keys. If successful, he will move from ninth to eighth place, securing more points for Rutgers. Come on. Pull. Yep. What pull. patience off the floor. Oh, very well done. You know, it's it's not easy with the sumo deadlift, especially to hold that positioning and 
keep pushing off the floor for what seems like <laughs> an eternity, pretty much. Especially, you have to be very, very patient off the floor because it can be very slow. Now Charles here, retaking a second. He needs to hit this to crack into the top 20. The top 20 is a very big number. And Zach going on to his seconds for the equipped deadlifts on platform four. The cage, the raging Cajuns. You can hear him all the way back here, cheering on their teammate, Zach Robin. An easy 210 for him. Very well done. Charles. Looking I to time out here. I think timing out. Class act here, 675 will be his total for the day. A little shy of that open QT, but still a good day overall. Derek taking 285 now. If he hits this, it will help him crack that 700 kilo total mark. That's a large milestone for sure. That's a lot of kilograms. Too that many. A lot. Too many for me to actually convert. Convert, yeah. I'm Canadian, by the way. I should know the conversion. <laughs> <laughs> Derek, moving the weights up. Now, obviously, different positions here for the deadlifters. Carpet's not going to be perfectly even, although we, they do try their best here in setting up. Um, let's see how Derek does here. Can he cap off the day he's been having for a near-perfect day? Can he go in for nine? Can he go eight for nine? Hit your Let's third. see. Come on, Derek. Oh, Finish. yes. Can you hold oh, on? No. Oh. And it looks like that overhand grip just slipped there. Very nice try there. Still a great day overall. And uh, yeah, we. I think we're gonna start seeing some attempt changes at the end here. For sure, especially if Cayman is looking to pull 327. <laughs> in the half kilos. That's ridiculous. That is crazy. It's widening the gap right now with these totals that are forecasted. Anthony. Anthony. Ooh. Oh. Just Unable. couldn't lock it out there. Very well attempted, though. Ben Edelman on platform four looking to pull 222 and a half keys for his second attempt. Brian here, 290. If he gets this lift, he will crack in to the top 10, securing eighth place and points for UMass Lowell. Can he get it? 290 it. kilos is bloated. He needs this pull. Oh my goodness. Will this be a good lift? Methinks it's a great it is lift. A good lift. Carter. Now Carter taking a little bit of a risk here. 290. If he hits this, it'll put him into 750 plus territory. Now I believe that is high enough currently to where if some of the other athletes miss their third attempts, he can secure a podium spot. Now Carter squaring up to the bar. He is, he is mad. You can tell he wants this. He wants it so bad. It was a miss on 285, but he yeah. needs this 290 now or never. Zoning in, make some noise. Midland is all on their feet. Come on, Carter. Let's see it, Carter. If now, if there's any time, it's now. Let's see it. 290. Big pull here. Big pull from Carter. In a big brace. Oh! oh! Oh, unable, and he is He'll okay. Heartbreak. I think he's a little heartbroken, but he is all good. Heartbreak. You know what? I agree with the call. I think 290 was a good call. Maybe he just felt like technique was off there on the second, but hey, you never know. Jackson, 10 kilo jump here for 292. It's now his for the taking. If Jackson makes this pull, he will bump Carter down to third place, and Jackson will secure a second place medal contemporary. 
And on platform four, it's a good second attempt there for Serenio, I believe. Sebastian up next with 225, looking to get on the board on deadlifts. Jackson needs this pull. 292 and a half. Oh. Yo. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. He is ecstatic. Great day so far for Jackson. Oh, my goodness. Nine for nine. You need nine to be nine. perfect. You need to be perfect to be within the top five. Whoever the handler is, great job out there. Excellent attempt selection. Here's Mason coming up for 297 in the now, half. Now, if Mason hits this, it'll also give him a very large total because he missed his second. 735 is at stake here. Oh my goodness, Go Mason. Oh no, he cannot execute on that. Looks like strength. Still a very good day so far. And we are into the 300s. It's getting real. Oh, we do oh, have an attempt, attempt change. Casey Bell is lowering his attempt to 302 and a half. Now, very, oh, very strategic move there. And we also had Aaron bump up his third as well, the 310. Again, you are seeing how these are affecting the forecasted placements. KC making this change most likely to just secure the second place knowing what is in his cards knowing what is in his cards for sure looks like Cayman has secured the first place and he's gonna go for the victory lap 310 i believe so he did Kamen. lower his attempt from 327 or 325 to 310 Again, so just keeping the competition on their toes to make sure and uh it looks like joshua is sitting out his second now Casey here pulling that slack. Can he execute? Come oh on, my Casey. goodness. Pull, what patience. Pull, Can he lock pull. it out? Can he lock it out? Come on. Oh. So close. Very, very close. It's just so tough for that sumo deadlift to recover when the bar is in front of you like that. You know, worrying about your pelvis and your lower back. And fam taking 305 here. Five kilo jump from 300. I think this is within his. He will reach the podium spot if he makes this pull. That 300, that 300. It's kind of fast. <sighs> I'm telling you, it's 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 the Nike Oregon singlet, man. It's for sure. I remember when the when they posted about it on their Instagram, the first comments were, where do we get this singlet? And they <laughs> said, you got to compete, bro. Dang. <laughs> but let's see. Fam here getting ready for a big 305 pull. Here's Fam. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. An amazing pull from Fam. That's tough. Good. And he reaches the podium. Very well done there for Fam. Very well balanced. Now, Aaron, another AM athlete. This pull will bump him into eighth if he takes it. The significance here. He needs to score points. Bro jump 50 kilos throughout an entire <laughs> that, that is crazy, isn't it? But can he secure this? Oh my god, my yes, voice cracked. He can. No. Oh. 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 Very well. Very well tried, though. Good effort. Very good effort from Aaron. Aaron, staying out of that top 10 means he's unable to get those points for AM. But. We have our last pull. Kaiman here. Victory lap pull. If successful, he will stay in first. This is probably a PR, I assume. Definitely a meet PR. Kaiman here in the slack pull socks, I believe. Mr. Froggy. Man, something about these froggy pullers. There, there's something about it. Can he get this pull to go? Wedges in. Breaks the floor. Oh. oh, my goodness. The patience is ridiculous. Stuck with it. Takes his time. Enjoys the moment of glory. And that is our 82 and a half raw champion. Now, Great tune lifts. into platform four as we have equipped 
lifting and lots of equipped lifting left, left to go. And a quick summary of the rankings as they stand after the conclusion of Raw Men's 82. We still have Midland up in first, 39 points. Texas, University of Texas San Antonio at 33 and then Texas a and at 30. But again, still a lot of lifting to go, especially with how many lifters are left registered that can be eligible for these team points the next the next day this entire day and the next day of lifting yeah uh, well especially later to uh oh, later today 100%. we also have the men's 90 and uh hundreds as well oh yeah 90 my favorite weight class totally unbiased opinion there. because it is your weight class yes <laughs> okay buddy <laughs> hey who said that <laughs> Platform 4, there seems to be some technical issues.